Hello, 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 hello. Where what under? Even Hero streamed it. <laughs> Damn, Krim. Maybe I even like got a first my first word in and like really War Thunder. <laughs> uh it got scrub. <laughs> oh god. Um yes. Well, you know what? Like this game is kind of like War Thunder. Um uh albeit with the added bonus of, you know, of like I guess like not sort like good graphics or anything, but it is very stylized, i.e. anime-ish, so. But yeah. Um uh, War was... of Thunder Farts. Jesus Christ, you're uh, but yeah, um, I'm gonna good start, good start. Uh, before I get before I get derailed any further, um, let me just do my um uh, introduction. I'm Stuart Barley. I'm security guard at a local business park, and today we are playing this game. So it's Valkyria Chronicles Quattro Four. Um. Communist Manifesto is a good book. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean... Um... All... I mean, compare... I mean, there are other, there are some books out there um, that may not be good reading. Uh, and starts with an M and ends with an F. And it's two words. And it's in German. So, um... I was gonna say, like, um... All books are good, so... Yeah, yeah, exactly. My fight, yeah. Um, but, um... Uh... But, yeah, no, uh... So, to people who are unfamiliar with this game, um... It... It's... I've actually already played, like, the first... The original. The original, like, for the first game in the series. Um... So... And... Now I'm playing the fourth installment. I found a new game you might I might enjoy. Oh, all right. Whoa, what is that game, Hero? Um, but this, oh yeah. So um, as I was saying, um, so now I'm playing the fourth installment of the series uh, of this game, and you're probably wondering, Stuart, like, what happened to Valkyria Chronicles two and three? Uh, uh, unfortunately, I think like two was released for the PSP and 3 I forgot which platform it got released to but it's done on the PC so hence why I had to skip those 2 and 3 I might actually like entertain the idea of like getting a PSP like you know thing to uh, play those uh, other uh, games but as of now this is, a, this is what I have right now so a Twisted Path to Renown. Basically Marauders, but in 18... <laughs> okay! I did, I did, I did. They're gone. Don't ask guess that stupid question that hurts your teeth. What, what, what do you mean, like, I'm asking stupid questions? Oh! Oh! I mean, I ask you, like, if it takes two or... Th if Why why I skip two and three? Okay. Oh! There's, um... There's, uh... Intro. Uh, so, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go watch this, and let's just kind of, like, sh explain to you guys like what this game is all about curiosity hurts <laughs> so yeah i guess i'm that's me they so see it's kind of like war thunder there's like tanks <laughs> like um and we'd added bonus of having anime people. Okay, we got some wars. Should we ask a person the wrong thing? I guess, yeah. Um, but there's also like magical girls. Dog. <laughs> yes, there is a dog. <laughs> so there's some fantasy elements, but I think it's mostly like you doing like actual guns and tank combat oh oh I think you're a follow uh milky 
Yeah, thank you for the milky. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the stream. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we're just watching the intro right now, and then we'll get to the to the main games after this. <laughs> Dog, hey, Iwi, welcome, welcome. I don't know, maybe, maybe the dog is an actual c combatant here, so, uh, you'll never know. Hey, welcome, welcome. I see Hero, he's here, so <laughs> there's no escape. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it, it's basically like, I'm not sure, uh, in a way it's kind of like Baldur's Gate? Um... But I guess I guess I'll just show rather than tell. Let's go normal. Because I think I've I've heard that four the day our is hometown open. burned. That was the day we enlisted. At last, we had something to believe in, something worth fighting for. None of us yet knew. We couldn't foresee. What this war would cost us. It was a battlefield, but it was where we grew up. By the way, I've never played this game before. I've only played the original. So all of this is new to me. Like, I have never seen this before. All I know is I think this is easier compared to the original, the first game. So I think I'm good. So, but this is all new to me. I've never seen this before. I, I didn't even play test this. I only got as far as the main menu. That's it. Okay, I'm a tank commander. Uh, I'm in a flowery field. I can't write that like that. The dog is here. Get done. Wind out of the northeast. First and lieutenant. Skies. And uh, the, uh, uh oh. Uh, huh? Nap time's over. Come on, Raz. I wasn't napping. Just resting my eyes. You gotta relax, man. You are way too friggin' tense. Your hands are shaking. <laughs> so sack up, commander. It's about time we get ready to roll out. Let's show those imps what's coming to them. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> the dog. Are we still Galia? Shift in the wind. There. Huh? Oh no, we're fed. We're Federation. Wind whispers again. Imperials incoming. Oh. All right, boys, it's go time. Whoa. Okay, first sergeant. Squad e, do you read me? Squad E! This is Commander Claude Wallace. Squad E! The Imperial forces are on the move! Heading for your position! Oh. Ready to engage. Do not let them break through to the front line! We're counting on you! Roger that. Over. Good luck, Squad E. They won't advance until they're done shelling the area. We should have time to prepare. Kai, take a group to that southern hill and slow down their left flank. Raz, take two soldiers east and make some noise for me. You got that? Gotcha. Keep up or get left behind. Okay. All right. At your command. Hoffin, roll out. Squaddy, ready to engage. All right. Just remember your training. All right, we're playing War Thunder. <laughs> Taking straight to the battlefield, eh? Like I, um. Eliminate all Imperial hostiles. Let's stop their advance. Squad E, move out. Oh my God. Okay. All set, Raz. Yeah. Just oh, the... word, boss. Uh, I'm not Raz. Okay. First, we'll see how they respond to some infantry. Okay. Okay. Squad E, move out. All right, infantry, move out. Okay, looks like everyone's in position. Finally, it's time. I'm their commander, 
It's up to me to get everyone out alive. Concentrate. Remember your training. We can do this. I can do this. Okay, there's a tutorial. I got scared for a moment there. Like, how would like even new players like figure out what to do? Um When combat starts, you'll see a map of the area in your unit's positions. It's referred to as command mode. Okay, I that I'm familiar with. Um here you'll select the unit that you'd like to move based on the terrain in the respective position to the enemy. Okay. Move the cursor onto Raz using those buttons, or jump to him with those buttons and press enter. Switch to action mode. Um. Okay. And we got the scout there. We got a scout here. Um. He's facing the wrong way. I think I know what to do. Um. What's the menu? All right, no orders yet. So yeah, so this is kind of like Baldur's Gate. So uh, you know what? I'll just I'll just show. So we're gonna control Raz. Oral action mode. Selecting a unit switches them to action mode, where they can move and attack. Move a unit in action mode with those buttons. The AP gauge at the bottom of the screen will slowly deplete while a unit is in motion. Once that soldier runs out of AP, they will be left unable to move. Uh, order Raz move toward those sandbags. Okay, so you see like how like everything's kind of like stuck in place. Um, yeah, give me, give me a moment. I'm trying to explain the chat. Um, but Watch them run home with their tails so their legs. let's run here. Oral attacking. Now that they have moved into position, it's time to attack. Uh, press that mouse button while in action mode to enter target mode. So you see, like, it's kind of like playing chess. Um, move the crosshairs with your mouse. Press those buttons to quickly snap between targets. Press this button to attack. If the enemy survives, might counter attack. Yeah, 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 that I'm familiar with. So let's crouch here, and then target. Surprise attack. You see like the, 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 the numbers at the top right there? So on the top left, that's the health of, this, of the enemy I'm targeting. And those figures at the top, basically what the two kill and the number two um, figure there correspond to the number of shots needed to di to like eliminate the target, and you have twenty shots in uh, I guess his submachine gun, and um, the other three like areas there versus purse versus armor and area. So basically, versus person, a circle indicates that, that like it'll indicate it'll deal good damage, while th those with the X's are like they're not applicable to like the target. At least the damage output, so. Uh, I think there was another, like, yeah. There was another, like, uh, enemy there. There you go. So ending actions. Troops can only attack once per action. Once thing is done removing and attacking, end the action to return to command mode. Next to end use action. And even that, you know, over that, over that attack. Yeah, 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 that I know. Pressing escape can also end your action, in which case a confirmation prompt will appear. Use whichever method you prefer. Okay, cool. I see. They're good. I feel like I could continue moving towards that sandbag there. One thing I learned about... Oh god. Tutorial sandbags. Um, on the field, provide cover. Move behind a sandbag and press when crouch appears to take cover. Okay. Crouching makes a unit harder to hit, and it gets extra headshot damage. Um, take cover behind sandbags as you move. So crouch and and current action. See, you you gotta be you gotta be economical with your moves. Damn it, these assholes are in my way. I can't break through this. Uh oh, what do you mean? Why not? You're invincible, right? I, I don't know who this woman is. Uh, <laughs> Are you really 
getting tripped up over some common foot soldiers? Why don't you ever stop and think... Oh, shut up! Just hurry and take him out, will ya? Oh, I assume that Kai is our resident sniper. There you go. <laughs> um, that that didn't that did take long, actually, for me to figure out. Kai is deployed. Oh god, we got that sniper here. Um, the thing is, I can continue, like... Eh... I don't know, man. I'd rather, like, target these guys, so... Compared to that one. Uh-oh. I, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. <laughs> um, sniper class specializes in shooting down enemies from afar. Uh, zoom in and out during target mode by moving up or down. Uh, use the scope to line up headshots. See, you see, you see that? You see that? Like, I'd rather target the, um, the guy that far out. There's a reason for this. There. Whoa. Too easy. Done and done. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and I think there's a, another target. Use the sandbags to your advantage. No. I think there's another target somewhere. Nope. Watch them run home with their tails between their legs. I, I think I think I, I think I'm good. Yeah, there's another target there. Um, I could possibly take out this scout and continue moving forward. Here comes the pain. Ow, 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 ow. Fire your weapon! There we go. Alright. Easy. Right for ass. You're doing good. Move it! Uh head dead crouch. See, so you basically, like, maneuver, um, while engaging in combat, right? That's how you win this game, in this game. Uh, control the unit per player face. Okay, CP reflects number of times you can control the unit per player face. So yeah, there's, I have these points. Basically, you burn through a point for you to move a particular unit. So when your CP reaches zero, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. So that's how like you know when your turn's up. Press escape or that load what's the end of player phase with leftover CP. Um you might wonder um whether it's a good idea to like um leave some leftover CP uh or not. And it depends. Sometimes like you would want some extra CP. Because that will like carry over to your next turn. And on that next turn you could like do some master stroke, you know, like a master plan. So sometimes like it's advisable to like not burn through all of your CP. Uh be mindful of your positioning before the enemy phase begins. Exactly. Like so that's why like I moved Raz after I killed after I shot the scout. Uh I then had to like move him to a more defensible position, but also m wanting to like for him to like advance through the map. So you want to move from cover to cover, basically. Um, and your face. Okay, it's now the enemy. All right, he's moving. He's moving. I can, I can zizz it. I can zizz it. All right, he ain't doing much. And that's it. There we go. About time, Claude. Yeah, I know. Soldiers, forward. Now is our chance to take the offensive. Okay. Tutorial CP and consecutive actions. Command points are replenished at the start of each player phase. CP can be used in the same unit multiple times in a row. This is useful for cutting into enemy lines, burying past dangerous terrain, or finishing off a tenacious enemy. So yeah, kind of like what I was explaining in the last, my last turn. 
that said, they'll tire out and start each consecutive action with less AP than the last. So you'll notice that when I when I um, re-engage Draz to uh, engage and maneuver, he had less CP compared to like my first time like commandeering his unit. CP that goes unused during one phase will, however, roll over to the next. Yeah, I was saying. Uh, how does the manage? CP will determine the fate of your squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm starting to understand why people think that this game is easier compared to the first one. Um. It, because it actually is. Um. Also, how's everyone doing in chat? I, I, I guess I didn't really ask how's everyone doing there. Uh, okay. We got Nico. God damn it, Nico. Nico, we got you. We need to advance you here. Crouch! Ow, 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 ow. I've been taking bot shots. Uh, avian weak points. Critical hits such as headshots deal greater damage than normal. To quickly aim, if you're using controller, any pad provides more precise control. Shots fired will generally land within the circle marking your line of sight. Uh, increase your chance of landing a hit by lighting up your shot so that its target is well within the circle. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I just literally explained this, but yeah. Um, whether your shots will reach the enemy or aiming at a weak point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll notice whenever, like, I, um, I kind of, like, move my cursor around, you'll notice, like, I if I, like, move it a uh, target like his torso, or anything that's like, not a headshot, you'll notice that the kill number there turns to 9. But if I move it to like the head, it becomes a 3. So that's why, like, you know, you'd want to hit at the critical parts, which is in this case the head. So we're gonna go uh, get Nico to fire. I don't know which gender he or she um, is. But I'm gonna assume Nico is a boy, because Nico is a boy's name, so I'm gonna say, you know, his rifle. I'm gonna make him shoot his rifle. Not sexual. Uh, but yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that. Uh, he has a very, very light. They might be soldiers after all. Uh oh. Right, right, Huey. Okay, we got we got enemy armor. Busting out the tanks, huh? This one's all yours, Claude. All right. It's our turn now. Fire up the engine, Miles. This this looks like a Sherman. This looks like an M4 Sherman. If we got some tank people in chat, I think I think. You will agree with me. This looks like an M4 Sherman. What Claude is in right now. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, the Hoffman's moving out. Like a ram too. The enemy tank. <laughs> I know that. Look. <laughs> also, he even has that. It's 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 even, he has that like where the uh, the people come in and out. That's it's in the same location. See, it's a Sherman! <laughs> uh, I mean, it has an upgunned um, main armament, but that's a Sherman. Um, tanks boast firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. Um, they can withstand gunfire from enemy infantry, making them a solid wall for your soldiers to use as cover. I, I, I know. Tanks can destroy objects with a red X. On a command mode, either by firing a cannon or driving into them. Okay, uh, right off the bat, I can tell you, like, this wasn't, like, apparent um, in the first game. I was, like, when I was, like, trying to, like, go through some obstacles, and that in the map will not show whether that's something you can drive over or through or shoot at. There were, like, moments where, like, I wasted turns trying to, like, get... Yeah, this is something they fixed. Something they fixed. Tanks cannot fit through narrow passages, so advance with infantry in such cases. Ah, okay. You see? You see? Um, 
In the original game, they did not have this, like, um, indicator as well. They didn't have this, like, marker in the map. So, I think, I think... I could already tell, like, this game's easier compared to the first one. Uh... Alright, enemy armor, there. Um... I don't even know why Zyga and Curtis are here, anyway. Um... And I guess I can't go through here. I can't go through there. Oh, that, that's an that's a down enemy. And the thing is, I want to engage the tank behind, and there's a reason for that. Okay, he okay. named the town. Moving he named out. he named his Sherman the Hoffen. Okay. Also, one other tip. Wait, how can I change the armament for this? Oh. We got a mortar, like a right? hull machine gun, AP rounds, mortar, okay. Alright, 75mm AP rounds. Which way is the enemy facing? Oh, 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 wait, 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 Did that? Uh, I, I saw, I, oh, I guess, it's okay, tutorial tank warfare. Um, tanks have three methods of attack, armor piercing shells, mortar rounds, and a mounted machine gun. Armor-piercing shells are effective against tanks and other vehicles. Explosive mortars hit a broad area with a ragnite blast, ideal against infantry. Mortars travel in an arc. Aim for the center of multiple foes to maximize firepower and preserve limited ammo. The machine gun is designed to strike foes who are too close for the mortar and to intercept incoming enemies. Press suits... Okay, I know that. So, um... You'll notice that there's like a... A glowing blue thing behind vehicles that's their radiator or engine that's made out of ragnite which is basically like this universe is oil if you will everything is powered through that blue thing and the re what I'm gonna do is hopefully like get a critical shot against that blue thing you see like if I target like the structure of the tank the two kill number there goes to oh, goes to three. However, if I like hover to to its radiator, it goes to a one. That's why like you would want to like sneak in anti-tank personnel behind these um, armored assets and then fire the, their ordnance in said like point uh, or component in these like um, assets. So hopefully, like I get a first clean good good clean shot here Fire! I did not um and I'm, I'm out of turn anyway uh I can still continue to oh I died thank you for thank you for the sub hey and welcome to the stream yeah ha, ha. how are you doing okay moving out ow God dang it. <laughs> Ow. 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 God dang it. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna try to, like, get this out of us. <laughs> Ow. 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 If you're wondering, chat, what's going on. Um, he's, he's, he's exhausting his points. <laughs> God damn it. I died. Uh, the glowing blue raid. I'm doing well. Yourself? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I, I, I'm, um. I. I I'm playing this game blind. I, I've never played this game before. I mean, I played, like, the original one. The first game. But for this one, like, this is blind. Like, it's like, you know. I feel like. I'm kind of pumped. I'm kind of excited. I don't even know the story yet, but I know that there's like a Eastern Front feel to it. Um, the glowing blue radiator, la uh, radiator plate of the tank's rear is, is its weak point, where even standard bullets can deal damage. Try to get behind enemy tanks for a chance to take them down, while being careful not to expose your own rear to hostile fire. Uh, that's what I was trying to do! So you see, like, I'm gonna go reverse my Sherman. Um, 
And... Do I have to hit that? Fire! Okay, not accurate. Uh, the Sherman's uh, gun. Advancing. Probably like they're being like accurate here in terms of like the ac historical accuracy. Not the most accurate gun. Fire. I rest my case. I have no ammo. Um, ow! <laughs> ow! <ew. laughs> I probably deserve that. <laughs> ow! Uh oh. No! 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 Uh oh! Uh oh! This is bad. Ow! I, can keep going. I thought he was gonna shoot at Nico. Oh, I, I get resupplied. I thought I won't. I thought I would. I would. I wouldn't get resupplied. Um. Okay, moving out. Uh, yeah, no. Um. To be honest, though, I don't usually employ tanks. Um. In Valkyra Chronicles, I usually like go all in on infantry. It's it's kind of easier to like maneuver. <laughs> Anyone else want to try? Squatty, don't take shit from nobody. Whoa, they curse here? Holy crap! <laughs> in, in Chronicles One, they did, they had like standards. <laughs> um, but I think yeah, um, we're not playing Galia, as far as I know. Uh, Claude knows what I'm. Whoa, you okay? The flowers. Jesus Christ, am I getting Welkin? I'm getting Welkin vibes now. Uh. Oh, yeah, they didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Come on, man. You're supposed to be commander of the Ranger Corps. Oh, we're Rangers. Commander still has a heart, same as a foot soldier. Rank doesn't make this any less painful to see. Okay. Oh, but crying over flowers. Even little girls have bigger balls these days. I, I like this Raz guy. I like this Raz guy. <laughs> yeah. People need to have bigger balls. Um, that includes women. So. <laughs> um, that their hearts... Oh no. All right, I get it. Power of the heart. Blah blah blah. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, just go turn in your report already, will ya? Can't go get sloshed if we're stuck here on standby. Good point. I'll head to the command center. Okay. Yeah, you do that. And tell the brass to send us tougher imps to fight next time, yeah? Yeah? I mean, I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran of this game. Rank A. Nice. Prologue. Okay. Operation Northern Cross. A new episode has been added. Tutorial Bookmark. Uh, discover the untold history of the second Europa. Okay, um, for people who are unfamiliar with this game, um, they literally just grabbed the Second World War as a reference. So you will see a lot of, like, not so, like, subtle references to, like, historical events during that time in history. So, um, yeah, <laughs> you'll, you'll be surprised. Or maybe not, you might be surprised. But that was, like, the very first, like, not-so-like, subtle reference. The Second European War. Um... Uh, okay, we just chronicle. Okay, saving. Open the menu by pressing escape. Save record your progress. Anything that happened out there, remember save before, during, and after any combat operations. Uh, sure. Let's go save. Uh, file. Yes. Danke schön. Danke schön. Uh, back. Uh, difficulty. I, it's only normal and easy, by the way. Like, I'm going on normal. Like, uh, okay. Prologue. I already did that. I already did that. 
um, I guess, fighting back. A few episodes in. Yeah, it's kind of like an anime. Sir, a story. First Lieutenant Claude Wallace oh, okay. reporting in. Good work out there. Glad you're still in one piece. Okay, we're I think we're Federation. We're just about to go over our next operation. Okay. You're Who's late. This? I'm sure you know standard procedure is to report immediately after a mission. He was too busy being sad about flowers. My guy, Claude. He's his gentle soul. Ugh. Oh, Minerva. You're reporting too? That's lieutenant to you, Claude. Don't get smart with me just because we share rank. I was gonna, I was gonna say! I've got seniority. Really? Like, you're you're both lieutenants, you don't... Even though, even though you were lieutenant first, doesn't mean that you... Oh, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> Sorry, Lieutenant Minerva Victor. Hmm. Well, let's get started. Minerva! Give us a situation report. Yes, sir. Three months have passed since we went to war. I won't sugarcoat it. They're steamrolling us. I don't know, that, that wasn't apparent. I mean, it, it looked like they were to me. By this point, a third of our territory is under Imperial control. This is officially a crisis. Hey. If it's that bad already, we won't even be able to sustain a war effort. You're right, and the Empire's only gaining momentum. If this draws out much longer... The Federation's finished. Uh, uh. If we fall, that's it for Europa. Nobody else could stand against them. The Empire would take total control, but it'd be a fascist continent ruled with an iron fist. They said the F word. Oh. <laughs> um. I, yeah, I, I, think, I think compared to the first game, this game's more raw, at least in terms of like the content. Um, we can't let that happen. Europa's future depends on us. Which brings us to now. The top brass finally got off their seats and sent us a plan. Okay. What's the plan? A counterattack that can turn the war around in one fell swoop, ready to be put into action. Okay. What are the orders? Uh. We put all our force into one strike. Break through their defenses and hit them where they'll hurt most. Oh God! Is this? Is this? I, I I'm getting, I'm getting Operation Citadelle vibes here. Um... Soldiers, supplies. We'll use all reserves we have to make a final push and capture one crucial enemy base. Yes, this is Operation Citadelle. Uh. And we lucky few of the 32nd Armored Ranger Battalion have been handpicked as the vanguard. Wait, do Rangers have an armored component? Couldn't ask for a better mission, sir. Which enemy base are we targeting? Think bigger. We take this base, and we take their will to fight. But how could any one target mean that much to... You just gonna say? Wait, you don't mean... You always were a clever boy, Claude. I think you've got it. Goddamn, Minerva. Our target is the Imperial capital of Schwarzgrad. Eh. Let's fight back! Operation uh, That's a long way. The year was 1935 EC. So you see, it's easy, like the map of Europa. to control the continent of Europa. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, a dictatorship known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies banded together to form the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their prosperity. Its growing scarcity leading inevitably to war. As a resource With its wars. overwhelming military might, the Empire captured one nation after another. While the Federation struggled to maintain unity, every battle driving them further back against the wall. Three months have passed. With seven-tenths of Europa falling to the Imperial War Machine, the Federation places all its hope in a desperate counterattack. Operation Northern Cross. Six million soldiers fought in this campaign. It claimed more lives than any other in the Second European War. 
Federation historians call it the Eastern Theater, but the Empire knows it as the War for the Motherland. Forward, soldiers! This is the battle you've been training for! Operation Northern Cross begins now! We'll wipe those Imperials clear off the face of Europa! Our time has come! Forward! To victory! Okay. Our soldiers fought and died on those fields, struggling to make their ideals a reality. Ordinary people thrust into extraordinary circumstances, fighting in the hopes that they would see a brighter future. What follows here is a record of those brave warriors, a record of that battle against the dark. Based on the diary of one Claude Wallace, the commander of the Federation's Gallian Squad E. E? But I thought Gallio was, like, neutral. Okay. Oh, and there's the title. There we go. So that's basically the game. Um, it's a CRPG, and it's set in pseudo-Europe. Um, around Chapter one, the, the early 40s. Uh, okay. Good news, Claude. HQ has awarded you with a medal. Okay, that's it. That's soon. Meritorious service medal awarded. For what? Cap bullets. Oh, accessories. Um. Oh, this one. I. I. I don't think. I don't think this was in like the original. Uh, in in the first game. Equipping an accessory to a soldier can boost certain stats. Your accessories can be equipped from the uniform section of the equipment menu. Try a few of them on for size. Note that you can only equip up to the number of accessories you own. Okay. So, menu? Wait, what? How do I... How do I... Uh, turn page? That's the, um... Eh? How do I, like, equip this? I guess I'll just view this first. March the 10th. At long last, we have finally entered Imperial territory. The ferocity of the Federation counterattack caught the Empire off guard. Battle by battle, town by town, we're pushing back the front, with no signs of slowing down. Ooh. The road to Farsgrad is a long one, running at least 1,500 kilometers oh my God. from friendly territory into the heart of the Empire. But at the end of it lies our target, the capital city. We have a long trek ahead of us, but for now, morale is high. Everyone here believes in this, this operation. Is, uh, this is Everyone basically is like it'll succeed. a military campaign <laughs> with. So tough after all, huh, Commander? Give them one good stomp, and, and all of a sudden they're running off home. Huh? Oh. So are you gonna take a picture of everything we pass? Here, let me have a look at. It. Uh, hey, Raz, come on! <laughs> Stop it! Really? You're wasting my film! Wasting? No chance! What you got here is a picture of a future hero! Uh, you take one too, eh, Kai? Yeah, maybe. Whoa! Uh -huh. No seatbelts. There you go. That's <laughs> uh, Damn it, Miles! The hell was that for? Freaking hurt, Quiet. man! I told him to stop the tank. Huh? Everything okay? Uh-oh. Be quiet. The wind shifted. <laughs> oh no! Our artillery! Subject. Um, tactical obstacle. They brought out the big guns. A blast that big could wipe out a whole squad. Easy. Let's keep moving. We got some. We got some heavy artillery. A rendezvous point with Squad F should be nearby. Oh yeah, we're Squad E. Also, we're apparently Gallians. I do not... 
I didn't. I don't know why. Um. Okay. Flash. Thunder. Thunder. How did I know that? <laughs> Sorry. This is this is um. Was it? Did just grab this from Band of Brothers? That's the password. Next time, give us the response before you scare us shitless. Apologies. I didn't mean to frighten you. Follow me. Lieutenant Victor is waiting. Who? Oh, you mean Minerva. And you are... Corporal Crystal Ward, from Squad F. Okay. Indeed. I have the honor of answering to Minerva Victor, the strongest and smartest officer in the army. <laughs> also, um... Uh, apparently in the Federation, like especially, uh, just like Galia, we, uh, they do not have stringent, like, grooming requirements. You can wear your hair, whatever you want, and you can have as many eye accessories as you want. I doubt you'd find soldiers today having monocles in the battlefield. <laughs> um. uh. <clears throat> I assume you saw that explosion. Oh, we saw it all right. They must be packing serious heat. A 21 centimeter howitzer. Currently, our worst nightmare. Yeah, it's 150, 150 millimeter. It must have a range of at least 10 kilometers. No, wait. We can't advance with that thing around. 21 centimeters is like 210 millimeters. Why did I forget my metric system for a moment here? Um, must have a range of at least 210 kilometers. We can't advance. Okay, I think we'll do Just so. Our mission is to capture that cannon. Okay. Commander! Good work leading Squad E so far, Claude. Your slow pace, however, does leave something to be desired. He's my life. saw cannon fire, so we've been proceeding with caution. Keep your excuses, as I said before. The success of Operation Northern Cross hinges on our swift advance. Time is of the essence. Mm-hmm. I know. You try hustling with a huge cannon up your ass. Oh, wait. You already tried and failed. Wow, Raz is like, no chill. Down, boy. Claude, have you not housebroken your squad? Whoa, Minerva is like, also the same. The hell did you say? I'd appreciate it if you didn't insult my soldiers. They're people, not pets. Then I expect them to act like it. I'm not the one wagging my tongue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why why are people so like tense here? Um Soldiers who step out of line are often the first to die. Remember that, Sergeant Raz. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Hope you make it out alive too, Lieutenant. <laughs> um, Commander? Uh, there's a good view from the clearing. Maybe we could brief them up there. Claude. Come with me. Okay. I'm oh, we're Cla I'm I'm Claude. Or oh, we're Claude, I guess. Um uh... Allow me to explain your next mission. Okay. Whoa. As you know, Fort Crest has a 21 centimeter howitzer that's blocking our advance. I'm gonna assume it's in that structure. It might just look like an old castle turned into a makeshift fort. They've stationed quite a few troops to defend the cannon. If we get too close, those turrets on the walls Ow. will mow us down. Oh, hey, Tram. Hey, welcome to the stream. So when does our own... Hey, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. If, you're, if your work involves throwing the occasional food item at me, then I guess, yeah. Uh, wait, we have our own cans? That howitzer already destroyed it. Oh. We were outranged. Blown up already? How long will the replacement take? The bridge was destroyed too, so the artillery tractor can't proceed. It will take at least seven days. Okay, so we can't do counter artillery. Though we do have plenty of infantry en route. We're, we're gonna it doesn't rush. Doesn't matter how many foot soldiers we get. Without a cannon, we're just waiting around. What's this game? Um, it's basically Baldur's Gate, with, but with anime and guns. <laughs> so, uh, and tanks, and tanks, so... 
Huh? Time is of the essence. We don't have a week to wait. Well, that's it. Not really polish. Well, as far as like the movement and like the mechanic, not trying to make. There's not a lot of RPG element here, to be honest. You're as sharp as ever. Is this the game on Apple Arcane? I don't know what that is, Tram. You have to school me there. Like he says, we can't afford to wait. What? What is an Apple Arcane? <laughs> We'll have to capture the fort without artillery. Airport without artillery. That's too reckless. Those turrets would fill us with more holes than Gallian cheese. I don't even know what Gallian cheese is. I like cheese, though. So. Oh. It's a dangerous mission, I know. But those are your orders. This isn't your local militia. This is what you signed up for when you joined the Edinburgh Army. Apparently, Edinburgh is just a reference to Brit Great Britain. So we're the British Army. And there's this app store on the iOS and it has a special store. Oh, really? Oh! I don't know whether, like... So, so right now I'm playing the fourth um, installment of this game. And that's because, like, uh... I didn't play the two and three. And that's because 2 and 3 aren't on the PC. So I'm assuming probably like what you saw in that store is I think 3. Because 2 is on the PSP. 3 might be like the, the mobile version of the game. Um, that's why like, I was like, you know, I couldn't kind of like just go... I couldn't go like with the natural progression of playing Valkyria Pro Chronicles 1, 2, 3, and 4. I had to go straight to 4. Might be one. One was originally released on the PS3, but then again, phones have actually like uh, advanced in terms of like their processing power. So I, I can't. I'm gonna assume that it, it cause that they actually have ported it now at this point. Yeah, where you pay three ninety nine a month to play a whole bunch of games using Apple. Oh, a subscription service for for games. Then again, I, I do know that Total War is in, is in either Android or iOS. So I'm, uh, some of the, these classics have started popping up in like in, in phones. So, but yeah, no, um, this, this is, this isn't it. Like this is like Valkyria Chronicles 4, which I think is just mainly for the PlayStation 4 or 5 up to the PC. You're right. We enlisted to crush the Empire. Not to commit suicide. Okay. Then allow me to clue you in on something. Crystal, tell them the news. Yes, ma'am. This morning, have? the Empire invaded Gallia. They've invaded? So we're Gal Gallians, but we enlisted the British? To the pseudo-British? I knew it was only a matter of time. What about our hometown? Is Hoffman okay? Oh wait! Is this like... Is, is this like... So basically Valkyria Chronicles 1 um, involves Scalia, which is what they just told us got invaded. And I think what's happened... Valkyria Chronicles 4 is just basically like another story while 1 was happening. So it's like parallel to like 1. All we know is that the battle broke out near the border at Citadel Girlandio. Yes, I'm, aware, I'm familiar with that. The Imperial Army, however, is being led by Prince Maximilian himself. Yes, this is this is this is basically like a story running parallel to one story. Oh damn it! So these are galleons, or galleons, I guess. Is there nothing we can do? If Operation Northern Cross goes as planned, the Empire won't have the luxury of staying on the offensive. Okay. Our only option is to complete the mission as soon as possible. Guess we've got no choice then. If our home's in the Empire's sights, then we've got to protect it. All right. Yeah, let's do it for Galia. The episode has been added. How do I like put headquarters? 
I guess. Let me save then. Um. Prologue. I still can't, like, uh, get the, uh. Hmm. Alright. Um. I'm gonna, like,. So ads are gonna start in the next 10 seconds. So basically what I've done right now, so this is like a story-driven game. I've reverted to like three-minute ads. So um, that way we don't miss stories or like, you know, like I, I lose uh, focus. I usually like go for the auto ad manager route where it, like it plays ads every 20 minutes. But that's just like a, a minute's worth of ads. So it's like I there's either... I go with that route or go with the three minute ads. So right now I'm operating in the three minute ad um like like arrangement. So uh I'm gonna let the ads run uh I'm gonna just type in sorry for the ads. And once the ads are done then I will continue the game. Um I think I, I this is what I kinda like thought like will be a good idea. So that the story won't get like interrupted, right? Um, you know, just think of this as like kind of like a intermission, if you will. <laughs> Sorry about it. I know. I mean, like, I I wish like I could like not have ads in my streams, but it is what it is. <laughs> Ad has covered down here. Okay. All right. Ads are got are starting. Um, for people who have been subscribed, um, uh, you can. I, I guess we can just talk. Whatever. Right. How how are how are things doing? How are how's everyone? While I go quickly, like for a quick washroom break, we'll be right, we'll be right back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Um, yeah. I guess I could just I could I could talk to people in chat by just going to chat. <laughs> I, I, this is kind of weird, um, but yeah. Um, yeah. Um, at hell is comfortable at this time of the year. Uh, let me like. Um, what did, what did you mean by that? <laughs> what did you mean by that, Trav? That's <laughs> weird. Like, I'm, because because ads are like rolling right now. I like I can't assume Tram can hear me, so I have to like t type as I speak. <laughs> um, I'm back. Oh, you're back from ads hell. Okay, okay, okay. Um, the thing is, like on Twitch right now, I can see that the ads, um, are like. Still, there's. I still have a minute's worth of ads. This is this is across the board. Um, almost virtually everyone has like informed me that this like timer is, in the best of terms, uh, not as accurate as one would assume it would be. Um, so yeah, I would get like what you just said there, Tram, about you like not having ads right now. But then again, some people st will be like, st will still have said ads. So I, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but we're almost there. Um, 15 seconds. Um, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I'm built different. <laughs> Everyone's built different in that in that in that sense. Because <laughs> it's, it's everyone keeps telling me like the ads are done or the ads I still have ads. I don't know. Like it's it's I only I can only like, operate in what I'm seeing at the moment. But as of just now, oh, sorry, as of right now, I think like we're done with the ads. Welcome everyone. Um, we're gonna go start 
to our first chapter one battle, the Battle of Fort Crest, Siege of the Castle. Here are your orders. Okay, Minerva, give me give me the orders. We're here to seize Fort, Fort Crest's howitzer. Squad E will lay siege to the castle and capture the enemy camp. Uh, okay, we got we got some mounted machine guns. We got some vickers, um, Maxim machine guns. Tourists guard the entrance. If you wander into the machine gun's range, you, they'll cut through you like carving a cake. Okay, I I know what the machine gun works. Um, uh, sorry, how a machine gun works, Minerva. All right, they don't have to like tell me what's gonna happen to me. Concentrate on gaining a foothold instead. The plaza out front will do. Wait, what? We ain't, we ain't charging in and taking the, the howitzer? We're just gonna stay in the southern part of this fort? But first you'll need to get into place. Position used in the battlefield to do so. Uh, siege of the castle. Capture the enemy base camp at Fort Crest by eliminating the enemy soldiers in this vicinity. Then pressing this button near the flag, your main objective is marked by a star. Okay. Uh, yo, what's reassigned squad is? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, equipment. There, there we go. There we go. Um. Uh, squad setup. Okay, got Curtis, Godwin, Jester, Rosetta, Teresa, Nico, um, Raz. Okay, Raz, I think, needs to stay. Um. Oh, and Kai. Kai needs to stay as well. Um, so the rest... Did they fix the scouts here? Uh, okay, um, so... One thing about this game, sorry about this game, is that, like, um... You have to, like, build your squad. And you, when you build your squad, it has to, like... It, uh, the objective in building your squad is to make sure that they get along with each other. So you'll notice that like, like they have like the a like section in their like information page. So and the reason why and and that would like kind of like work to your favor in terms of like if you if you if you put Curtis and Laura together, uh, they will like have a link attack, and that will like allow them to like fire at an enemy at the same time it's it's very very important that um this is like like you know uh this is considered um but and they also have like these um potentials um uh, so uh for example like for curtis he has so social anxiety they get tense around people uh they're not well acquainted with decreased defense so if you position Curtis to someone that's not whose name is not Laurent, um, their defense will decrease. That so that's why like the, like the, it, it's it's kind of cerebral this game. Um, so again, Laurent, I guess Curtis really 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 loves Laurent, likes or likes Laurent. So he has this like other potential. Having Laurent nearby encourages him, boosting his attack power. Okay. And also, he's a nature lover. So being around nature makes his heart sore. So you will not employ Curtis in an urban setting because his strengths are not like used here. So I'm going to assume that Curtis is going to be taking out a rotation. Um, because I think the map involves like a lot of urban combat, as you can see here, right? So we're going to go um, take out Curtis. Curtis oh. gone. Okay. Sorry, Curtis. Also, they removed like the um that little like section where like they talk to you in your face. Uh, so Godwin is a scavenger. 
When he touches a fallen, he will loot ammunition from their body. Taking interception fire lowers his firing accuracy. Okay, um, that's that's like that's interception fire is um, enemy fire whilst they're moving around. So I'm gonna take him out as well. Godwin out. <laughs> Um, next Teresa. Yeah, I'm I, I'm getting to know these guys. I'm getting to know these guys. Um, get, uh, Jester. He's a gambler. He gambles. His gamble goes south, lowering his firing accuracy. So he he's just a liability, <laughs> basically. Uh, taking multiple consecutive actions reminds him of his death. Lower his defense. Okay. Um. Fancy women. Um, having women around makes him want to look good. Increasing his attack power. Okay. Oh, Iwi going to bed. Good night. All right, Iwi. All right, thank you for stopping by. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, have, have, have a good have a good night. Uh, have a good rest. Um. So I don't. Yeah. We're we're not gonna. Yeah. Jester out. Uh, oh gosh! What a shame. Oh, hey! Uh... Neat freak. Uh... While hiding, they're constantly worried about getting dirty, lowering their firing accuracy. I... A pacifist? Defeating an enemy reduces AP? What the hell? Why are- why are- why are there pacifists in the army? <coughs> I can't have pacifists in my army. Um... Oh, a strong tide to realize. Okay, I guess. Uh. Uh. All right, th these two are like conflicting. Um. Right, Tram? Like, why are there pacifists in my army? You are in the army to to shoot at people, right? Um. All right, R Rosetta. I come on, Rosetta. All right, I, 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 I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting an uphill battle here. Oh. Mm -hmm. God dang. Um. All right, Teresa. Um. Their aim decreases because she's clumsy. Great, great. I have the best people. I have the best people in my army. Um. Biology bias. Her total disinterest in inorganic matter causes her evasion to decrease. What do you mean? Like, like when she's around metal? Like, okay. Her attack power increases when she comes in contact. Whoop. Uh, okay. Weird. Uh, Teresa gone. All right. Um, Nico. Uh, remembering to load ammo. Oh, she's a woman. I thought Nico was a as a boy. All right. I've never heard. Who here has met a girl whose name is Nico? Because I actually know a Nico uh, in real life, like um, like in person. Um, and he, he 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 is a boy. So. Um. Have you ever heard of that dude who was Catholic, convinced his sergeant that like, he'd like to join the army, going back home, saving a hundred without the fire? Oh, no, Tram. I think, I think, I think I know that guy. Um, he, I, I, and I don't think he was Catholic. Um, I, he's, I think, a Seventh Day Adventist or a Jehovah or Jehovah's Witness. Desmond Dawes. Um, Desmond Dawes is, I think, a, a U.S. Marine corpsman, i.e., a medic. Uh, so, yeah, he did elect to get a weapon, but he saved a lot of people, uh, in the Pacific, uh, war, World War II. Probably, yeah. That's a pacifist in my squad. Desmond. Um, so she... Okay, so she's a klutz. Remember to load ammo with her weapon, sometimes completely slips her mind. Okay, cool. She doesn't know... She doesn't understand the concept of reloading her weapon. It's plural, so. Great. 
She relies on divine interception to keep her from danger. Taking interception fire lowers her evasion. Okay, okay. We got... Apparently, yeah, we got... There's another Desmond Doss in my squad. Um, you know? I mean, you know, sometimes, like, you need some faith, but sometimes, like, you need to get into cover. Uh, acting before anyone else increases her firing accuracy. Okay. She likes being early. Cool. You can't have everything good Stay in a person. Alright, so Roz always has to be in the squad. Um, so Claude, Kai, and Zyga. Who the hell is Zyga? Uh, oh, Zyga's here. So Zyga stays. I'm gonna have to, like, let him stay here. Um, Scott, Camp Defender? So, yeah, so you can, so you can tell, like, so, yeah. So, I was, like, reading up on all the, like, stuff, but I'm gonna have to, like, Fast fire on like my um oh. oh Robo hey thanks for the raid welcome everyone welcome welcome all right I got I got a shout out I got a shout out uh, uh. hey how's everyone wait you are playing the coffin of Andy and Laylee I have heard of this game is this a horror game Robo <laughs> Also, how's everyone doing today? Like, you know, how's... How was Robo's stream? <laughs> Hope you guys had fun. Yeah, I, I'm here, like, just uh, just roasting my own squad members. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun? Yeah! Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, I... I well, w welcome, everyone. Like, uh, my name's Stuart Warley. I'm a security guard at your, at your local business park. And today, we are playing a game that you shoot people oh we're, we're in we're we're in you like you shoot people so ever heard of the game i i i've in passing I, um i've seen like other no i haven't actually seen other people play it i've only like seen like maybe like a steam page of it so but uh if i recall correctly though it's a horror game right so scott away uh, Viola, Berserker, Dark Sid Discriminator, okay. Al gone. Boring. Um, Emmy, um, gone. <laughs> Easier that way. Laurent. Awkward with girls, training, empire hater. Okay, gone. Sure you don't need me? Yeah, I'm good. Um, Kegel, um, veteran skill. Oof, my back's acting up. Alright, we're just gonna take oh, all these guys out. Back home. You got it. Jean, I'll Brittany. Allard, Aww. Rebecca. That's it then. Kai stays. Um, Aladdin. He's he's bald. Uh, Unfortunate. Nage. Oh, time to go. Yeah, I know. Time to go. All right. So, so you'll notice that that there's like class. Okay. Well, basically, people get quarantined in a place and some type of like everyone needs to stay in this building. Possible alien-like story. Wait, this is like... So it is a horror game. Sin, please. Yeah, 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 it's kind of like a... An escape, sim escape room simulator in some game. Okay, well... I... It's kind of... That kind of sounds fun, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's totally way different from what I'm playing, but yeah. Um, hopefully, like, you know, like... Feels like a bit like no gear. Exactly. Like, I think like you have to like sneak around. Yeah. But yeah, but hopefully you guys like you know like are up for like some cerebral tactical military action, which I'm kind of doing right now. I'm like literally just like figuring out my squad. Um. Okay, not nature lovers. I don't like nature lovers. Um, scavengers. I don't like lone wolves. Um, all right, we're gonna go with like, we're gonna. You know what? Let's go with the lone wolf. Let's go put Godwin in. Um, and let's go get Aladdin, Curtis, Jimmy, Eagle, Jean, Brittany. Okay. 
Uh, awkward with girls. Training Empire. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go take out Godwin, put in Curtis, oh. and put in Laurent, his best friend. He is awkward with girls. I don't know why I keep, like, focusing on that trait. Um, I'll show <laughs> um, and we'll go get, like, a, a, an engineer. So you'll notice, like, so we got scouts, we got shock troopers, we got lancers, and we got engineers and snipers. Scouts basically have rifles. They're squishy, but they move a lot. Um, shock troopers are like your mainstay. They uh, they pack a punch in terms of anti-infantry power, and uh, you know they, they can they can handle getting shot. Uh, lancers are basically your anti-tank guys. Engineers are like a a, a down gun version of the scout. They they suck at fighting. But they do a lot of like the ancillary stuff. And snipers are like, well, there's no need to explain. They're snipers, so. Um So I'm missing an engineer. Let's go put an engineer. Tank freak, one track mine. Actually. Okay. Lower is accuracy. Okay. It takes a little too much to enjoy enjoy his work. Okay, he 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 gets distracted easily. Okay, conservationist. She would rather hold on to Ragnade than use it on. A... Calm down, increasing their defense. Rescuing fall reminds her of past failures. <laughs> okay, we got some trauma here. Uh, Rebecca, uh, compose, increase their firing accuracy. Okay, let's just go get Re let's go put in Rebecca. Understood. Um, we could employ another sniper. Oh, there we go. We got L Aladdin here. Shiny head. His glinting head gives his position away. Using his okay, cool. Whatever. <laughs> uh, that's a bit mean. Um, chivalrous being near women makes him want to look good. Increases defense. Okay, you're. We're we're we're. I'm going for Aladdin. Because we are ha we have a lot of women in the squad. Um, evasion after taking interception fire. Okay. Okay, we'll put in Aladdin. Just watch me. All right. Uh, confidence. I like that. Um, so Teresa, Rosetta, Jester, Rosetta, Teresa, Brit Brittany. Okay. Um, let's go put in Odwin. Oh, fine. And, um, Emmy? Whoa. We have a lot of women in the squad. In the squ th yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the Federation? And, and by some extent, Gal Galia? Like, we, we, we've we we've evolved as a society. Like, we, we employ women in the armed forces now, so. I mean, that... I, I don't. I, that's that's one historical inaccuracy. Um, I don't think in the Second World War, you, we had women soldiers, you know, fighting battles. So, um, where the hell is Jean? Oh, Jean. Yes, there's Jean. Um, okay, everyone loves Jean for some reason. Okay, we're gonna go get Viola in. I'll crush them all. Okay. Um, and Jean. Okay. Uh, Allert? Hmm. Maybe Allert, yeah. Are there gonna be tanks? Jesus Christ. Uh, have... You sound a little too excited there. Uh, let's go get another, like, um. Barrier, yeah. All right. Why Why does she wear the mask? <laughs> why did he wear the mask? Um. Her iron mask prevents her from receiving critical hits and counterattacks. Okay. Poor visibility, much lower her accuracy, endurance. Being under item it makes her anxious, lowering her defense. Okay, why does she wear the mask? Why? Um, so Jester. Uh, yeah, people here. Okay, Brittany. 
Okay, I guess we'll go with Brit we'll go with like Millennia. Of course. And then we'll get Emmy. Oh yeah? What's it pay? And then Brittany? Sounds like a plan. Okay. I actually am running out of slots. No, I'm running out of people to put in my squad. Um uh, Teresa. Moving out. And then Florent. Uh, then Jimmy and Kegel. Let's get moving. Yeah, I've run out of people to put in my squad. Apparently, yeah. Um. So Rosetta, Nico. We got Teresa already there. So yeah, work. Yeah. 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 Sir, gotta get through this alive. And then I don't have to put Nage. Yeah, so I guess Rosetta. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything you need. Alright. We're cool with the squad there. Um equipment. Right. See uh, a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot to take in. Apologize if people like like kind of like struggling with the overload of information, but don't worry. Like it's actually kind of simple. Um, change equipment by issuing combat gear to infantry and installing parts onto tanks. Customize loadouts to soldiers and vehicles to suit your strategy. Um, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I only have that uniform. Okay. Curtis. Okay, I, I, I guess I don't have a lot of equipment right now. Oh, yeah. Tank parts. Uh, change parts. Whoa. Each optional part is the size associated with it. So just two by one. Vehicles have a limited amount of space, so keep part size and placement in mind. Alright, this I'm familiar with. Basically, um, parts get listed here. I put them there. Um... Camo, okay. I don't have a lot of camo. Decals, the Rangers are here. Um, yeah, we're cool. Uh, mission info. I think I know what the mission info. I think so. The mission involves like taking out this howitzer, but I have to set a foothold here. Uh, unit placement and leaders. Position units to choose which soldiers to deploy and where to place them. Uh, you use to choose a camp to deploy units to confirm with um, enter. Some missions offer multiple camps that I'm familiar with. Once a camp has been chosen, pick a unit from the roster to put them in position. Tanks can only be placed in spots with a tank like. Oh, I can actually place tanks now. That wasn't uh, a feature in one. An infantry can only be deployed to unmarked spots. A CP symbol is displayed beside the name of some of the units in their profile window. These units are known as leaders. By including them in, a, in the field, they'll be each add one CP to your total, allowing you to control more units per turn. Okay, so that was a trick in one. Um, you could actually like not have leaders in your squad, and people will like wonder why are you doing that when like you know you want more CP this way. So now they're just like just telling you like just just do that. Intel has reported a tank in the field. Deploying a Lancer here is recommended. Okay. Alright. Oh, okay, so we only have... Alright, I guess this is it. Um... So, Raz... And Zyga. Raz here. Lock and load. Uh, Zyga there. Here I go. Uh... Where is the, um... Hmm. I'm thinking of putting in... Millennia. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go put in Millennia. Oh no, wait, I can't put a squad... I can't put a scout in! Damn! Um, I don't have a... Yeah, I, I can only put Kai. Yeah, I, I need... I need... I need an engineer. Yeah. 
so I don't have a lot of people to put in here. Um, let's go put in Kegel. Stay calm and focused. Yeah. Okay. Let well, we go get Kegel. Um. So deploy. Now capture that cannon. Okay, Minerva. You ready? Take down the Imperial camp. Capture their heavy artillery. Squaddy, move out. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So yeah, so so people who are like just joining in, um, yeah, this is how the game works. I expected resistance, but they're tough nuts to crack. What should we do? We can't exactly rush in and kick the door down. What? We'll get routed if we don't have a plan. First, we need a solid foothold. Let's capture that camp. After that, well, guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay. Weapons free. Squaddy, oh. move out. Weapons free. Oh god, I, I I like this I like this guy Claude. He has the same vernacular as I do. Um. Pay attention, Claude. Your leadership skills are going to be put to the test. Okay. That means getting the most out of your soldiers. Don't forget the basics. I I. Minerva, I am a veteran of the of the Galleon War. Don't worry about me. Yeah, good point. I'll keep that in mind. Uh oh. Camps are set up across the battlefield. Uh, units stationed near an allied camp receives a bonus to defense and HP recovery at the start of each turn. Occupying a camp allows you to call for reinforcements or have a unit retreat. Yeah, I know that. Capture an enemy camp by defeating all the enemy units within it, then moving to their flag and pressing that button. If there are no allies in your camp, the enemy can capture it from you. Yeah, I know that. There are two kinds of camps, base camps and field camps. Capture an enemy base camp while defending your own to win. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know that. Expand your squad's capabilities by capturing the field camps early on will help pave the way to victory. Oh, I think I understand what the... Okay. So this is the, um... The base camp, and this is the field camp. So... So you can see, like, this is kind of like... Yeah, you're, you're, there's kind of like some strategy involved here. So you see, like, there's a map and everything? Um... Yeah, that's why you would want that. Um... Considered when you, like, move your stuff around. So let's move to Hoffman. Okay. Moving out. M1 Sherman here. Oh. Uh. Are I'm kind. Are we making any progress? Enemy sighted. Can we? Can we? Wait, wait, wait. What? Whoa, whoa. whoa. Eh? Uh, I'm, I'm not getting it. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. this is I, I'm kind of cheesing this. Oh, oh, I cheese. I cheese. So that's how, that's how it works. Uh, tutorial field actions. Pressing when prompt appears, your search terrain takes special actions. Oh. oh, oh. Pressing that button in tall grass has to drop prone and crawl to hide from enemies. Climbing ladders to reach higher ground is another com common field action. Field actions can only be taken when a prompt for that button appears on screen. Okay, I know, I know that. Alright, alright. We got that guy over there. Alright, we're gonna end that turn there. Coral Lancers. The Lancer class... Cl twice. Class? Why did I say it like that? Uh, class uses anti-tank weaponry. They have the defense and HP to maneuver behind tank tanks and hit their weak points. Lancers are also resistant to explosives and take less damage from mortars and grenades. Yeah, so that's... They have the blast armor thing going on. Their power is offset by low AP and low slow movement speed, so they're better suited for, to fighting tanks than recon or assault. Okay, so there's a reason why I positioned my tank close to that tank. 
I will, I will show that. Okay, Yo, Kegel. Oh god, look at this. Look at this weapon. It's massive. Crawl! Alright, did you crawl in? Um, okay, crawl, keep crawling, keep crawling, keep crawling, keep crawling. Crawling, keep crawling. Okay, cool. And target. Fire weapon. Nothing beats experience. Whoa. There you go. No. No. So that's how it works. Um, uh, and there was like a a Gatling turret there. An engineer. Let's get Zyga to like do some hey, reconnaissance. Hey, check this out. Let's go, Zyga. No ladders there. Foot soldiers. The hopping can roll right over them. Okay, nope. No, okay. Coral sight lines. When a unit sees an enemy in action mode, a sight line will appear over their head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sight lines point in the direction of a visible enemy's location and represent different things depending on the color. Blue line. Oh! This I did not know, though. The enemy hasn't spotted you. Yellow line enemy has spotted you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Red line enemy's firing at you. Green line is reloading. I mean, I can kind of know. I can kind of, like, see that. Regardless of like the colored line, so use sight lines as a guide when attacking or when trying to position your units into a spot when they'll be safe from attacks. Okay. Driving to me. I guess they they can see me then. Um. All right, let's position ourselves and. I'm. The out. Okay. I guess I can't go into cover. Um, let's, let's just get our guys into position. Here comes the pain. Let's go, Raz. Uh. <laughs> God damn it, Raz. Not betray my confidence in you, Squad e. Um. Let's put. Let's make him face here. And, um, I could? I mean, there was a tank. He's gone now. Um, let's go get Kai moving. Not okay. Advancing. Let's move it. Alright, I'm not looking. I'm not looking, chat. I'm not looking. You'll have to take down those cannons. Uh, oh god, I, I should have done that. Oh, I see now. Ah, it's gonna take a while. I don't have the ammun- well, I do have the ammunition, but... Yeah. Um... Why does she have cat ears? Um... Mm, I don't think I don't need a tank. Just being honest here. Um, more the um. Wait, I can deploy more people. What? I know you can deploy more people. Okay, this is. You should have told me this. Um. Uh, no, D. Lauren. Okay. Uh, who's that other guy? Godwin, I think. Okay, Godwin. Maybe I could get another sniper. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get Aladdin here. Uh oh, Lauren. Yeah, let's go. Alright. There's one so yeah, I I could like Deploy more people.
What's he doing? What's he doing? Okay, he has a death wish. He charged into my line of fire. Uh, okay, he's gone. He's done. Critical condition HP recovery. All right, there's a dead guy. Units whose HP falls to zero are in critical condition and cannot use CP to take actions. If a unit is taking heavy damage, try to keep them out of danger. What soldier stationed near an allied camp get a boosted amount of HP recovered? Yeah, that I know. Recovery hard of each turn. Tanks do not recover lost HP unless they are near an allied camp. If a tank's HP reaches zero, it means oh, really? In the original game, if the tank blows up, you're done. Wow. Okay. Um, let's get Godwin like moving here. Um, More like I have a choice. Go Godwin. Um, this is a scout. As you can, no as you've noticed, like he has a longer range in terms of his AP. Um, so I can like let's go do a little crouch target. No, can't see much. Um, there is an enemy over there. Probably an enemy over. Contact. Yeah, let's let's stop here. Coral Engineers. Makes up for the engineer class makes up for low combat prowess with unique abilities like resupply, repair, and revive. In action mode, engineers can resupply okay, I knew this. Uh, resupply an allies ammo by moving close to them. They can also repair sandbags and ladders. They've been that have been destroyed by moving close and pressing okay, it's a field action. Uh, unlike normal ragnade. Revival Ragnade can revive allies in critical. Oh, this this one they changed. Um, revive allies in critical condition. Okay, so in the original game, um, when people get killed, uh, you have to like get a ally to get to their body, and that will evacuate them. Um, so this one though, I think you, in this game that doesn't happen anymore. When they get down, um, you have to have an engineer basically revive them instead. They can also use their vehicle repair kit to restore HP to vehicular units. But do they have like those like heavy duty ragnades though? Uh, revival ragnade and the vehicle repair kit can both be used in target mode. Don't hesitate to use them when the need arises. Yeah, I'm aware, I'm aware. Okay, another Ragnade. Infantry automatically recovers a small amount of HP each player phase. But sometimes they need immediate healing. Switch to Ra- Okay, this is one I know. Wait when to- When to- Then press just like a target. Place the crosshairs on a nearby ally to heal them, or place them on no one to heal the unit using the Ragnade. Yeah. So it's like a first aid kit. Um. All right, let's get Aladdin to move up. Call the shot. Oh shit! Oh, so shiny. The slander. Oh no! Hide in the grass where the enemy can't spot you. I can't. I. I don't have a good line of sight to the gunner there. Yeah, let's get more people in. Um, just because. Or you know what? I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is enough. Let's go. Um, just get one more guy. Uh, let's put in. A gene. Who is G? Oh, that's G. Um, let's put in not, 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 not that one. Um, Emmy. Yeah, that's that's the last um, reserve deployment we're gonna go for. Um, 
take out that scout. Yeah. I got this. Let's go, Raz. Uh. Watch out. Crouch. Crouch. Keep and target. There you go. There you go. So that's how it works. Your own damn fault. That Raz. Uh. Right. Vandal. And crouch. Um. Are we short-handed anywhere? Yeah, that should be enough. We're gonna. Yeah, I have to. Put, I have to position, base the enemy. So like, if ever they move, they get hit with interception fire. Um. Yeah, let's keep let's keep these guys moving. Understood. Yeah. Way too easy. What? What was that all about? Uh, crouch. Backup, damn it. I think that's enough. Uh, and then we'll just use these snipers. Call the shot. Call the shot. Whoa. Thanks. Dang it, Aladdin. Okay. Zoom in and take the shot. Too easy. You missed! Why would you miss? You know what? Let's, let's, let's position him here. Um. Uh, take Ty. Alright, Ty. Let's go do this. There you go. Guy's a better sniper. Crouch. Escape. Uh, I think that's everyone. Yeah. Reinforcements. I just, I, I, I just, I just use my reinforcements. Soldiers not currently deployed are waiting in the reserves. Reserve units can be deployed from allied camps as reinforcements. Click a camp in command mode and press to display a list of available units. Once a call for backup has been sent, the unit will arrive in your next phase. Okay, that's how I know. Reinforcement requests will be cancelled if the camp is taken before the reserve unit can be deployed. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I know this. The enemy can likewise call for backup, yeah. The only way to stop this from happening is to capture the enemy's camps ASAP. Fire? Fire weapon? Hello? <laughs> That's interception fire, basically. Um, reinforcements have arrived. Okay, let's let's move this guy up. Can we get this over with? Uh, we're, we're trying to. Yo, Emmy. Boom. Uh, uh, okay. And she's gone. So, uh, I think the next part of our plan here is to, um, I think take out that gun. Yeah, let's go get all over it. Let's go get Aladdin here moving in my sights. Bro. Nope. There we go. And uh, possibly him crouching makes him more accurate. Way off. Now. God damn it, caught Aladdin. You need to work on your aim, Aladdin. Make a decision, then act on it. Uh. Okay, the next one. I guess we'll just get Kai to move and take out that guy. Now advancing. Okay, those glowing yellow things apparently involves. It's just to denote that they're in cover. Okay. Boom! There we go. Got him. Too easy. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guy. Move up. Move up. All right. Cra Hide in the crouch. Crouch. Yeah, you always want to be in in cover. Like, uh, engage and maneuver. It's the name of the game here. Um, let me get Godwin to like scout that place. 
I don't like I have a choice. Let's go, Godwin. Move up. Stand. All right, he's in a defensible position. I think he's facing the di different way. He's facing a different way. All right. I'll come get you. Hang in there, all right? Okay. Oh, tutorial. Grenades. Grenades. Enemies crouch behind sandbags take significantly reduced damage. Grenades and other explosives can destroy the sandbags, leaving enemies without cover. Use grenades by entering target mode and pressing 2 to switch weapons. However, grenades come in limited supply. Weapons with limited ammo, like grenades, recover one use per player phase. Sandbags aren't the only destructible objects, so try blowing up or driving over anything that looks suspicious. Okay? No, I, uh, as I said before, like... I have played the first game, so some of it's just... It's just natural to me. Um, Are we making any progress? Okay, we'll throw a grenade over there. Grenade! Gauss! There we go, he's dead. <laughs> there we go. So that's how it works, that's how it works, yes. The grenades. Um... We can capture this place. And then we'll... Move in over here. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. That's what that's what we'll do. I'm just scared of this turret, though. That's what I'm afraid of. Um, does he see us? Okay. I have a choice. Uh, stand. Capture. There you go. Enemy camp captured. Uh, no more than 10 foot soldiers can be deployed on the map at once. After that, they're unable to call for reinforcements. You can substitute out currently deployed units for reserve units. Retreat by moving into a by moving a unit into an allied camp, facing the flag, and pressing that button. Um, you can also press um, in command mode to retreat while a unit's in camp. This method does not cost you. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, unit outside of camp can still be sent to the reserve by pressing F and sending them on a forced retreat. What? Oh, okay. This this one's new. This one's new. I, uh, um, in the original game, th this wasn't the thing. Uh, forced retreats cost one CP as this uh, deploying unit from the reserves. Okay. I did not know that. Um, that's new. Crouch. Okay, he's standing up. He's not a he's not a good gamer. You know, take like that. This guy needs more time in the range. Ow. Uh, uh, defeated leaders. When a leader is defeated, their CP is nullified. Their commander will receive fewer CP at the start of their phases. Both allies and enemies have leaders. Claude and Roz are squad leaders. At least a squad E. You're forgetting Kai. Keep your leader units protected while actively seeking out destroying enemy leaders to reduce your CP pool. Okay. That I know. Alright, let's let's close that engagement there. Whoa. What was that? Morale boosts. Taking down an enemy an enemy or capturing an enemy camp can trigger a morale boost. This is this is new, by the way. This is wasn't this wasn't in in the first game. Morale boosts grant a higher chance of activating. Oh, okay, and dodging. They end when the unit takes another action. Okay. If the unit is under heavy fire, it may be wise to hold on to their morale boost, but not. Oh. Also, it's 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 it, it you you burn through these. Okay. Um. Okay, Raz and Zyga. Alright. I got this! We're gonna go get Raz to basically like charge the enemy! Incoming! Incoming! 
Okay, I think he's crouching. I'm gonna take him out there right now. Yo! Ow, ow, ow. One HP. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I can't do much here. Oh, oh, wait. This is a, a blowable thing. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, oh yeah, it is a blowable thing. Uh, I did not know. Um. Understood. All right, let's get Saiga then. Let's move in. Where's the grenades? Let's blow this up. Let's go. And they work. Um. Support with the uh, I did not know why it didn't work. That didn't work. Um, I guess I gotta go move the tank. Am I winning? Hey, Colin. <laughs> I, 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 I hope I am. Also, how, um, how did the trip go, Colin? Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I just like Okay, moving out. You know, just just playing this game that it's already familiar to me. Like I, I know like this game already. It's just that like they've added a lot of new stuff. Okay. Some mortar. We can't afford to drag our feet here. Alright, a mortar. Boom! Holy Christ! And that's all she wrote. Don't talk down to me. Don't know. Though we are all incredibly gassy, don't know which we kind of caused it. I'm gonna assume it's the cheese. Cheese always makes you gassy. Capture. Enemy camp captured. Too well fortified. Even with the camp, we can't advance like this. Okay. This is bad, Claude. If this keeps up, the most down. I don't know, man. Look, we were we're doing fine. Come on, let's just go all out and charge him. Better than sitting here and dying, right? So, important question: What are your thoughts on those plush toilet seat covers that old people seem to have under seats? Not a fan, actually. Not a fan, Colin. Um, because like. The the dirt particles get into those things. No, a frontal assault is way too dangerous. We have to stand Stay. back. Yeah. Easy for you to say. Damn! If only we had artillery. There has to be some way through. Just hang on until I find it. Sir, so, yeah, I know, right? Uh, why can't we just use the armor um, assets we have here? Victory condition has changed to any allied unit reaches target. Enemy reinforcements have appeared. Okay, we moved all our stuff here. Um, I'll use your armored assets. <laughs> God dang, Colin. Um, yeah, um, so, um, ads are gonna start in like a minute and a half. I'm gonna go and like pause for a moment. And I guess I'm just gonna go like assess the situation here. Um, so... Oh, thank you for the sub, Colin! Thank you! <laughs> hey, I totally appreciate, like, the sub. <laughs> oh my god. I don't, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to say. Ads are <laughs> No ads for you. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna advance. We're just gonna continue with, with the game. Uh, because I was gonna say, like, uh, I, I can, like, stay here for three minutes and just talk, but... Eh. If Colin just, uh, might as well just, you know, do it. Wait, what? wait, hang on. I can't move the tank here. What the? What? Eh? Okay, moving out. Advancing the femboy, bunch of the femboy <laughs> 
There are, there are actual femboys here, by the way. Uh, yeah, I can't move it here. Wipe out those cannons ASAP. Uh, no. That's the shot. Uh oh. No, I, I don't have an angle. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't have a shot. Nor this one. This one I do. Yeah, you have to use the tank as artillery. It won't. God dang it. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't have a shot. And for this maxim gun, nor this. This one though, I do. Right out. Right there. And he missed. How could you miss? Um. Situation report. My guy can't aim. Um. All right. Whatever. 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 Um. But wait. Okay, I can't go through there. Um. <clears throat> Fun fact, the term HP was originally coined as a naval war gaming thing to analyze how many cannon hits a thing could take. Which means that nearly every living thing on Earth is 1 HP. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, a cannon, like, a cannon, like, directed towards your general area is gonna take 1 HP uh, against, away from you. AP against a turret? Bro, what a wait, HP with... Uh, the thing is, um... My HE rounds are mortar rounds. They fire an arc. Um, I don't think it has range. Oh, you know what? Let's move. Maybe Kegel is what I would need. I need to use here. Um. Okay, that's Kegel. Yeah, it's Kegel. Here I come. And he can't aim for shit as well. Oh god. <laughs> uh, add spot, I'll be back. Alright, yeah, good striker. Alright. More, more of my daddy here. Attention could, yeah. Oh, heard. I know, I know. My guys. Not good shots. Um, no good with their. Um, Better not screw this one up, Claude. Uh, Okay, 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 let's, let, let's just, let's just advance. Not good bullets. I know, I know. Enemies everywhere. What are we supposed to do, damn it? <laughs> Looks like you're in a tight spot, Cinderella. What? Wait, Cinder what now? This sure as hell ain't a fairy tale. I'm, tr I'm trying to get them to understand, right, the situation. You need to use your bullets. I'd love to get to the ball at the castle, but I don't even have a pumpkin, let alone a carriage. He's quick, he's quick to his feet. Seriously? What's gotten into you, Claude? <laughs> yeah, this ain't a fairy tale. These are the femoral <laughs> lights. Is there's? I mean, there could possibly be an actual military unit based out of like, species. Probably South Korea, because you know, they have, you know, uh, conscription over there, and you're kind of, and they're kind of forced the pretty boys to like, be soldiers. On one side we have fanboy, and then we have regular hooters. I mean, like, I don't know what hooter. Why hooters is like. Sleeping in on, on the idea, like there's demand. Magic, why? Huh? Why can't they just go with the fanboy hooters? If it was real. Back, well, welcome back, striker. Yeah. Status report: No one can aim in my squad. So, but we got the Cinderella guy. Now, whoever this is. Oh. 
Who the hell's Riley? I mean, in ancient Macedonia, there was an infamous unit of soldiers that was made up of gay lovers. A reputation that were deadly on the battlefield. Oh, I think I know, I know this, I know this. Wasn't this the sacred band of Thebes or something? I think from the, it's, I think they were Theban. Not Macedonia. Macedonia. Oh god! Oh! Grenadiers! Holy Christ, we got some Grenadiers! Um... The Grenadier class launches explosives from their mortars in an arc to reach enemies behind cover or in high ground. Grenadiers can intercept enemies behind cover as long as an ally can see them. Oh, okay, cool. Their interception fire also slows down the target's movement. Grenadiers pack a lot of firepower, but it takes time for them to set up. Line up the shot, and then attack. They're vulnerable to attack while setting up their mortars, so be careful not to get them stuck in a position under enemy fire. Okay. Pack a mortar back up by pressing... Okay. I... This has this wasn't around in the first game, so I don't know how to work this thing. So fire support unit coordinating with more mobile classes is crucial. Thebes, yes, thank you. I couldn't remember where they were from. So yes, more to her daddy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so apparently I got Ragnade, a Sanders M1. Apparently the Sanders M1 is a mortar. Stay close to your how do I how do I Oh oh camera? Oh okay, so this is how it works. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright. Fire! Whoa! 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 All allies have been taken out! Holy shit! Uh, no, no, don't put away. Uh, um, stay, stay where you are. Yeah. We got mobile artillery, gentlemen. We got mobile artillery. Right, the classic move or attack to turn unit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It burns two CP. Just gonna catch you drop a mortar and tell it. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Uh, it's okay. I was lying a bit when I when I said like I don't have the equipment. I do have the set five millimeter, but as you can see, it can only like um, incline its turret way above. You know, so it can't reach that far. And I have tank traps here, so I can't even move this guy. So yeah, it's this tank's kind of useless right now. Apart from I guess trying to cheap shot this thing, which again, this guy can't aim for crap. Literal mobile artillery. That's unrealistic. I mean, the turret like can't can't incline that hard. You know. Also, this this tank is basically the M4 Sherman. This is the M4A1 Sherman. You cannot tell me otherwise. You're living with turret elevation. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like two. The <laughs> it's the, it's the Sherman. Uh, okay. I guess we have to go use this Riley. Um. Uh, I don't have the range. I think. Do I? No, I do not. I have to move this. Put away. Uh, put this guy over here. No. Uh, target mode. Oh god. Dad, that's, that's a lot of. Aren't mortar, cru mortar crews supposed to be like two uh, manned by two people? He's doing everything. Oh god. I should have aimed at better. Um. Bro, it's not even a firefly barrier. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. The Sherman's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, they had flamethrower variants. They had like command variants. Um, everything under the sun, basically. Nope. Okay. Let's let's go, Riley Miller. Holy shit. All right, let's go. Aim it on top of his head. 
and fire the water out. Boom! Oh my goodness. Mortar crews are traditionally three person, give or take. One for the mortar, two carrying ammo. Meanwhile, the Sherman. Oh, yeah, 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 I guess, yeah, two people carrying ammunition. Meanwhile, the Sherman basically had a <laughs> fix turret. Uh, maybe in later variants of the Sherman, I guess. Like this Sherman, at least. See, the issue is you're approaching it from a logical point of view. That's not how this game wants. Exactly! This oh. We have femboy units here, um, so yeah, I, I don't think we're we're gunning for realism here. Uh, this game, three man mortar crew. Now, <laughs> you're right, 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 right. Like I, uh, nah, nah. Look, look, look. I have, I have what. Uh, I got. Actually, I do need to get some snipers out here. Um, hang on. Um, let's go get the bald sniper. Call the shot. You got Saitama. Yeah, I got Saitama. Uh, all right. Let's go Saitama. <laughs> get, get, go, go, get, go, go. And he's a sniper, by the way. Uh. It's a scout. We can do with that. Uh, we're good with that scout for now. Bullseye. And he can't aim for shit, by the way. Let's nope. see how they like these mortars. Yeah. All everyone in my squad has no concept of aim. Um you don't <laughs> yeah. that was the enemy dude is still rocking night plate helmets like that's good. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, they can do interception fire? Holy shit! I didn't know border crews can do interception. Oh, whoa, who shot him? Did my sniper shoot him? Oh, my God. Over yeah, Overwatch. Holy Christ, Riley. This wasn't in the first game, by the way. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, let's get uh, let's get another sniper, Kai. Also, yeah, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Um, she also has cat ears, so. So hungry. Um. Huh? Okay. Um. Okay. No. Um. Let's go take out this guy. There. It's all mine. All right, got that guy at least. Overwatch Too fire. Easy. Target destroyed. The, this, Very good. Yes, yes, yes. Um, the thing is, I can't just like throw out the XCOM reference because people might not know. But yeah, this is basically XCOM but anime. Um, there's a reason we can't see below. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I'm not looking. I'm not looking, chat. I'm not looking. Um. Uh. Okay, so. I gotta go get Riley in position. <laughs> Cat ears, stat buffs. I don't know. Reason. Probably it is stat buff. <laughs> it's okay. You look at me instead. <laughs> yeah. Call it, call it. Uh Oh, I can actually like Uh oh, okay, cool. Fire And that's not enough. Okay. Um I need to put that away, but I need to make another attack there, and then after like this Maxim gun's done. And we'll just charge. Leave it to me. Yeah, this tank is useless. Um. Come on. And it's down. Okay, we're just gonna go charge in. Got him. Got him. 
pretty good. Oh, the armor actually kept him alive? I don't know, the armor didn't do crap. All right, Saitama. Let's go get that bread. All over it. Oh, okay. We got some cover here. Crouch. Um, uh, get that shot going. Oh, uh, this one. All right, Saitama can't aim. I've been using this guy for almost like five turns now. No aim. If you let the enemies charge the bridge, a tank might be useful. Uh, yeah, yeah. The interception fire will basically kill them. Well, let's try one mortar shell going off right next to <laughs> so, um, Actually, Maxim guns are not Gatling guns? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's, that's, that's what um, this game fails to, like, understand. Um, not the most... Um, I guess you would say like just don't get in my way. accurate representation. All right, we got Godwin here. Let's go, get Godwin. Uh, yeah, yeah. We got a charge. Keep calm and move Crouch. Target. And I like that. No one can aim in this squad. This is literally true. Imagine going to Gatling guns. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Two completely different dudes invented them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and I think Gatling guns kind of like went out of style like around this time period. So yeah, I'm not sure what what they were thinking of. Time to make some money. And, um, they named these guns. But then again, we are in a in an alternate universe, right? So, all right, we got Emmy. Let's go, Emmy. Are we making any? Uh, uh. <laughs> you just let the artillery woman. <laughs> this, I, I, I'm trying. I, I am tempted. I am tempted. Here comes the pain. Um. Uh, Gatling guns were completely replaced with a Maxim gun. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Machine guns were, like, more... I guess, like... Mobile? What? That was a weird thing to say over, over the radio. Because the Maxim gun is a fully automatic gun, whereas a Gatling requires human crank. Yeah! It was a lot, basically, to maintain. You can't just like set it up, right? So, but because of that, it is completely legal in the U.S. on <laughs> a Gatling gun. Really? All right. Hey, yes. Check this out. Um, Striker already knows this, and I'm not sure. I think you might already know Colin, but I am not. I don't live in the U.S., so I don't know a lot of the rules about guns. At least in yeah. But also, yeah, I guess like Happy Thanksgiving to all my American viewers. Um. I hate that Lenfield, the Enfield, <laughs> which which you did M1 Garand. Uh, yeah, 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 it just occurred to me. Yeah, apparently, yeah, the Lenfield. Yeah, I did. It just, just, yeah, yeah, the Lenfield. This basically the Enfield here. Um, they just, they just, they just flat out copied it. Um, I mean, both of these guns. Oh god! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Got a sniper! Holy shit, sniper! Uh oh. Yeah, it's great that no one in part of sniper can aim though. Okay. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Um. Alright, cool. Um. Just for the gun, very heavy. Yeah, 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 Gatling guns. Yeah, like. I don't know. Like, yeah, I need, need to have like a horse. Carriage to carry one of those. I'm just trying to ignore <laughs> the Len the Lenfield. The guns in this game are, are, are yes, yes they are. I think they're just trying to avoid like copyright issues or something. All right, Kai, we gotta go employ you for some counter sniping. Now advancing. 
Um, all right. Mm, yeah, guy, why are you doing this to me, guy? Please, guy. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, or a van. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I... Call the shot. In the original game, I think there were better shots in the, in the first game. This one is, like, painful. No one can't seem to aim here in this game. Bullseye. That was... That was a headshot! Why did you aim at this? Oh, whatever. Um... I have to use um, Saitama again here. Um, I can't let I can't let that sniper live. He has to die. Too easy. There you go. I mean, maybe the fuck it, <laughs> the fuck the tank. I don't know, man. The, the tank is failing me too much. I've lost I've lost faith. Um. Uh, but yeah, the original game, like, the first game, if you guys are from interested, it's a harder game, I, 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 I'm told, um, compared to this one. But I'm seeing, like, they literally, they kind of reduce the accuracy of my guys here, so it kind of evens it out. Time to make some money. Alright, Emmy, let's go. Given her poor accuracy, maybe just go for the chest shots? I guess... Stop panicking. Uh Nice. Alright. See, we got fem boys here. But I think she's a, she's an actual lady or something. Uh, let's, let's let's move up here. Crouch. Uh -oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh god, no 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 oh shit! Emmy might get. Ah, I did not know there was like. Ah! Now we're all fanboys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're all fanboys here. Uh... Oh god. Um, I did not know that there was a Gatling turret there. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. I know, I know, I know. Here I go. Come on, Riley. Uh, we gotta put it away. Move up! Oh god. Can you imagine um, your mortar squad wearing a skirt? Just imagine. Um. Take this! Oh, oh, wow, wow! Oh god, Riley. Oh my god. This is the internet. There are no women. <laughs> I mean, they do. Oh, it was a good point there, Colin. Let's see, you're our mortar squad. So let's get that. <laughs> How did I know that you were gonna say that? Oh god. What's this? Oh, moral. Uh, yeah, that's also one thing they added to the game that I am not familiar with. Uh, so, whenever, like, you do something special, you get a morale boost, which increases their potentials. Here comes the pain. Oh, thank you for the posture check. Because uh, you have already grown to love and understand me. You woo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, uh, but yeah, no, I, again, I, I appreciate uh, people, like, just popping in and, like, chatting. Right, so. Okay, he got. She's a bit too excited for that. Um, Captured an enemy camp. Nicely done. Crouch, yeah. You don't want to crouch in these games? Um, not a moment to lose. Because the cover basically like nullifies headshot damage. Uh, whoa. By the way, the M1 Garand is legal to own and shoot in all 50 states, but a few ban it from hunting Jude. <laughs> I could. 
Why, why you, would... you, woo you, woo you, woo you, woo you, woo you, woo a lot of states limit hunting to three cartridges. <laughs> I like how you just... I like how you, um... Uh... Made that specification by prefacing it with oo-woos. <laughs> uh, oh, I love the way the TTS... <laughs> it, it's the default uh, TTS bot, but... Apparently 8 is too much for some. I mean, like... If, if you require 30 rounds... Um, to, to get a shot... Or, uh, like, hit... To, like, hunt deer... You might want to work on your aim, buddy. Like, you know, you want to invest some time in the range. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, all I'm saying. Open the middle of typing, ooh, which I added to the end. I guess, yeah. You can handle it. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, like, Colin? What, 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 what are you trying to say here? Um... Uh, okay, let's, let's go, like, um, advance some of our guys. Uh, Understood! Let's go, Zyga. Let's move out. Uh. Please be aware of your surroundings. Let's go, Mantle. Crouch. And stay here. Hey, a large magazine is helpful that you don't have to carry around ammo, extra ammo in a box all jangly. Uh, I guess that's true, yeah. Uh. You just look your mag and hunt with the ammo is in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can. I, I do. I do now. See your point. Um, then again, we got the Krag Jurgensen rifle or the Lebel, right? <laughs> uh, no. uh, end phase. I, I think. Yeah, we're gonna end the phase here. You have to crouch. The enemy has harder time hitting you. That's not a cover while crouching. <laughs> no, no, the thing is, like, this game is kind of broken. In a, sense, in a sense, as long as you're crouched at something, it doesn't matter which side of the sandbag you're in or you're on. Like, the, 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 the cover effect stays. So it, it is kind of a bit unrealistic. Uh, and now the M91 of Fusion Tommy and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, the the sub the submachine gun we have here, yeah. The bell is a two bed rifle, very strange. Yes, this is like the gun aware people, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guess I understand why they made that thing. Why are there tank traps in those places when the tank can get on a bridge? I I know, I know. That's why, like, yeah, you can't you can't use a tank at all in this at, the, at least in this stage. So, um. I don't want to like charge in, um, but I think I think Riley here. This one's a Riley Miller special. Also, why? I guess it is just in case you glitched it. Ass. I, I mean, I I they're, they're, I think they're just trying to showcase this unit, Riley, right? <laughs> okay. That, that, um, that was funny. Like that, that guy responding with a emphatic no. Um, six, yeah, I think this is just a, uh, just a level mechanic. Okay, stand. Um, again, Kaji, don't you know? The Lewis should give you some cover. Exactly. Exactly. This is we're we're in we're in her world now. We live in her world. I like that. Finally, Godwin. Not bad out there. At one charge, a shock trooper. Yeah. Hot girl summer. Exactly. Exactly. All right, we're gonna go get to that big howitzer. So I'm gonna go stand Take and run behind the rubble and engage the enemy. towards that guy. There are no enemies. Oh, good! So, so Stu, have you been participating, participating in Grace Sweatpants? All right, we broke through. 
I don't I don't actually own sweatpants. No, I actually do, but they're not gray. They're black. Why? Oh, oh, I think I know what you I, I think I know what this is all about. Uh <laughs> Keep advancing. Capture that cannon. <laughs> uh Federation bastards. We won't let the blood, sweat and tears of the Imperial people fall into your hands. Okay. <sighs> Glory to the motherland! Everyone, get down! Uh oh, we got, we got, we got. They're gonna, they're gonna blow it up. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! All right. Um, no more houses. Up. Uh, B rank. Okay, I don't know what to be. I don't actually own any. Wait. <laughs> oh, like the other, uh... I mean, like... I know the whole gray set, the gray sweatpants thing. Um, it's just for, like, you know... Wait, what? Soldier's preferences have changed? This wasn't in the first game. It gets shot a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, this game, basically, yeah, so, um... Valkyra Chronicles um, is a game where like you have to like um, be comfortable with getting shot at um, because you won't get far if you don't have that like courage to get shot. The real fanboys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go to the next chapter. Oh, uh, Part here. So this is the 21 centimeter howitzer. Your soldier's preferences have changed, girl. I like boy. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay. Uh, um, I, I will, I will explain. Um, the preferences thing. Um, after, after this cutscene, I guess. Or what's left of it, anyway? Okay, so Miles. Okay, that's a fanboy tank driver. So much for surrendering. Denying us this scrap metal cost them their lives. Eight, eight inch. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a big gun. It's a big gun. They chose death before dishonor. Eight point three specific. Literally pulled the secret weapons and destroyed the not Ju three nine. Oh, I remember. I remember that. I remember that mission. Um, I'm not sure, Colin, if you're familiar with that game, but um, yeah. Um, Striker and I have played a game that's basically has etched into our psyche, uh, which is Secret Weapons over Normandy. And I think there there was a stage where like, um, the enemy had like a, a had like an ocean going or traversing. Um, heavy bomber, and I, that's basically what they did. They also blew it up when uh, uh, the good guys were like near. Everyone who goes to war knows they might die. But if I was in their shoes, I don't think I could pull the trigger. We're not fighting to die. We're fighting to live. Oh, These gosh. men died for their country, <laughs> and I respect that. Still. Yeah. Weapons can be replaced. Lives can't. Oh, they kill. They, 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 they off themselves. Okay, inside that tank. But speaking of weapons, it's all fun and games until the teach first teacher for four says we have begun to take losses. <laughs> oh yes, 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 yes. Oh god, I still, I still have voice line in my head. Like even like the um the actual voices in my head. How about those new guns the reinforcements were carrying? Oh yeah, uh, Riley. For being portable, it sure packed a wallop. Big things really do come in small packages. Okay, okay. He was not saying something sexual there, okay? Um. If you got voices talking to you in your head, why don't you get doctor? <laughs> no, because, 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 because Stryker, like, um, resurfaced that memory. Uh, uh, down to the accent of the the T the T thirty four like tanker, um, 
they're, they're down to that, that level, right? Like, that is clearly a test. <laughs> Hundred percent not sexual. You know, like people might get court-martialed having the, that kind of language in the military today, probably. It's got state-of-the-art tech with the range of a tank. I, I know. I Have that wasn't in the, the first game. And I thought you were supposed to be the cream of the crop. Apparently, in this army, you have to wear a skirt to be a mortar operator. Huh? Oh god. It's called a mortar. A magic wand that grants every soldier's wish. Awesome, right? You see in this? Isn't that... What do you mean, like... <laughs> now nah, military is a sausage. Even from people. Yeah, yeah. I, I've heard stories that it's still male dominated. Uh, okay. Childhood friends. Say, who's in charge of the squad? Whoa. I gotta say, I'm impressed at how quickly they were able to change their tactics on the fly. A little uh, male dominated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh. Raz, what are you doing in the Edinburgh army? We enlisted together to protect Galia. Yeah. No way! Lena? Small world, huh? Hey, who's Lena? Oh, sorry. I'm going by Kai now. Hey? Stu, are you a big thing in a small package? <laughs> um, I am... I am kind of tall. Um, so... I, I think I, I guess I'm medium. I'm a medium package. Wait, Kai? Uh, but that's your. Riley. Oh! 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 Oh, is Kai. Is Kai. Like. transgender? Uh, nice, lanky fanboy. <laughs> yeah. Imagine it as you wish. Hmm, I don't really get it, but okay. I'll call you Kai. Yeah, Kai is transgender. Um, because she's, you know, but, um, he, I'm mean, gonna, I'm gonna have to use proper pronouns, okay? I'll call, I'll have to call him with the he. Anyway, it's so amazing to um, see you. What are him? the odds of seeing old friends in a foreign war zone? Um, it's me. How do you end up in joint operations anyway? Since you asked so nicely. <clears throat> Everybody fanboy in this army. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, we are in anime, so the the probability of being fem being fanboys here are like very high. I'm Lieutenant Riley Miller. After majoring in Ragnite engineering, the army brought me on as an artillery advisor. Legally enforced. <laughs> Okay, so we're both we're both lieutenants then. Um, Lieutenant Riley Miller. Okay. I've been temporarily transferred from the field artillery team for this joint operation. As long as I'm here, I'll provide the fire support you need to take down the Empire. Wait, what do you mean field artillery team? Like it's a it's a totally different division? Just what our squad needed. We appreciate the support, Riley. What about butter bar lieutenant or normal lieutenant? Yeah, I'm not really that familiar with like military ranks. So where's the commander? So... I wanted to introduce myself. Uh, about that. It's not just us two in this squad. Huh? Huh? You mean Kai's here after all, or? Riley, I'm the commander of Squad E. Yeah, FA's own battalion under division. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Oh, you're pretty young for an officer. Well, I, I would say the same to you. My knowledge is your. What the? Claude Wallace. Oh. Okay, some some lore. Okay, um, probably butter bars. Oh. Is 
that all you have to say? We were just discussing about, like, ranks in the military, and I got slapped in the face. Um... I can't believe I took orders from this coward. Oh, there's some... I, I don't know Claude's story. Um... Also, technically speaking, it's very unlikely Elizabeth will be commanding a squad. Really? Is it? Is it? Is it? That, is it enough command or rank to command a squad? Screw that! Whoa. Um. Well. <sighs> I. Oh. Okay. Um. I guess we aren't. Having her in our squad. The liberation of rain. A new episode has been added. For meritorious action in capturing Fort Crest, you've earned this medal. It's a good start. First lieutenant is literally the introductory officer rank. Oh, really? Was it that? Isn't that supposed to be second lieutenant though? It's like second lieutenant is like lower than first lieutenant, right? Crest. Crest Service Medal awarded. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Connor Doherty. Ooh. I'm writing a book. Uh, a war story. Nonfiction. It's good to meet you. Oh. Are you a war correspondent? Right, Fort. Oh, God. You pay, I shoot. All right. Claude has awoken a new potential. Self-conscious. I wouldn't say that was a potential, more like a liability. Um, um, squads are typically commanded by sergeants. Or really- Ah! Ah, yeah, 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 I guess, like, it's way too much rank. Your soldier's preferences have changed. Okay, um. Obtained a decal for the Hoffman learner's permit. Okay. Um. Kinda? Weird? Um. So let's, let's save this. Um, save complete. All right. Uh, we're back there. Oh, yeah, second is the first. My bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Officers don't actually technically command units. Like literally, they are in ch in charge. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say yeah. They're, they're just they're too high up in the rank. <laughs> Mercenary get ace combat. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, I, I want to play that game so bad. Uh, uh, but if they know what they're doing, they'll always defer to their sergeant. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, like it's like a it's like battlefield like experience versus like officer thing. Two months since the start of Operation Northern Cross, the Federation's elite forces, Squad E among them, was even the simply over the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yet, the further they cut into Imperial territory, no, the more tenuous the supply. Ah, uh, yeah. True enough, true enough. There's and not... So the if, if, like, it's a peacetime a army, you won't have a lot of battlefield the experience. Line, among them, Lindbergh Base. Commanded by the 101st Division, <laughs> this outpost... A hundred, the 101st! ...logistics hub in the battles to come. We got the 101st. A new episode has been added. Okay, the Federation, the liberation of Reine. Okay. This sounds like the guy. Wow. He does. He does kind of sound this like the guy. It's AC five. It's incredible. That's a lot of Shermans. Apparently, these facilities can accommodate over three thousand soldiers and a hundred tanks. On top of that. They have enough food, fuel, and ammo to supply every squad on the front line. Impressive. More like a dream come true. If I didn't know better, I'd think we were still in Federation territory. Apparently we have stellar logistics. I guess the brass can get stuff done, when they actually try. So squads are usually commanded by staff sergeants. How do you know, how do you know all of this, Colin? Are you like in the military? He's gonna talk about offensives and suddenly we'll be saying. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> the situation is critical. <laughs> Your mission is to sink the enemy submarine Shinfaxi. I can't I can't get this I can't get the voice right. Uh what's the deal though? They got all these resources and we're still stuck with one busted ass tank? Yo, I don't diss on the Sherman. Sherman's actually you no know, good tank. Excuse me? Our squad takes excellent care of the hop. I have to admit, this really puts the scope of our mission into perspective. Platoons are ostensibly commanded by lieutenants. So squad and then plat and platoons. Okay, okay. I was I always like I always like I've never actually like understood like the terminologies there. Hell yeah! With this much heat, the imps are gonna feel the burn. Oh god. No. Barely seen the tip of the iceberg. Even all this might not be enough. I'm sure, like three to four squads. Ah, okay. Oh, you think? Like yeah, so the lieutenant. Raid commander. You kind of a, it's kind of difficult to like commandeer four squads or five, I guess. Yeah, even then, most lieutenants will rely on the senior NCO hey, for the managers too. Yeah, like sergeants. Yo, oh, the brass. Those are navy uniforms. That's a surprise. And yeah, why is the navy here? We're so far in inland. What are naval troops doing this far inland? Well, I salute them for swimming all the way here. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! -ho -ho. Got the navy. Check out the ass on that one. I'd swab her deck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this guy in the military? Like, this hasn't this been, hasn't this person ever been, like, you know, been told that the language is unbecoming in the military? What the hell? Um, <laughs> um, also, naval troops. <laughs> yeah. The, wait, no, they. <laughs> they they heard you. They heard you, Striker. Uh, now they're gonna pull out the um the big subs. By the way, not sexual. Um, can I swab your? No, I'm too busy commandeering my squad. Okay, she got two bars on her sleeves. Oh, oh yeah. Hold up, Raz. I'm just gonna say hi. Break the ice, you know. Oh no, break the ice. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the Freedom Faxi. He's hopeless. It's probably an ensign. Okay, I think that's a that's a naval rank, right? I just hope he doesn't get into trouble. Don't hold your breath. Yeah. Anyway, we still have some time before the meeting. I'm gonna go take a look around. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is like, see the problem? Probably as a secretary, the officer said, ah, like an adjutant. See, the problem with the words he's saying is that these guys are army, not marines. Oh, they, yeah, apparently, yeah. Would, I'd like, I'd hit that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I, I heard that the marines are like more, I guess you would say, um, you know, rowdy? Um, fun fact, the U.S. Marines are the only group of the U.S. military that's been officially asked by PETA to stop... <laughs> well, okay, okay, the Marines are a different bunch. That's, that's, our cult, it's great, yeah, 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 So, okay, training field. Let's go train the... We got boot camp! There you are, Claude. I've been charged with Squad E's training. As ranking lieutenant, I'll be giving strict instruction to each combat class. The experience you gain in the field goes towards refining our abilities. I want to see growth from all combat classes. Each time a class makes a breakthrough, every squad member of that class will show improvement. Okay. Uh, tutorial training field. Spend XP at the training field to level up different classes. Leveling up a class will strengthen all the squad members of that class. Using XP to maintain a training routine will help Squad E be all that they can be. Okay. Okay, this one. Oh. Show me what you're made of. Okay, this one they just basically like 
copied in the first game. So I just basically just go all the way. Right. Um, Lancer. Um, sniper and Grenadier. Okay. And then confirm. Yeah. Come now. Is that the best you can do? Sorry. Uh, the, when she said the word "come now," um, uh, she either was an ensign or a lieutenant. I'm not sure which. Okay. Put all that XP weapons handling. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, like there's no like specific way to train them. The RNGs, the RNGs, basically is like the problem here. I have to go back and examine the people that's in sleeves. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, leveled up. You've leveled up, so to speak. Good work. All right. Look at that. The Lancers have awakened to a new potential. Hmm. Your troops have crossed a threshold today. You're clear to learn a new order. That was too Epal essence. What do you mean like what 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 did I which word which which of those words did I slur this time? Um still gotta stain on his work pants now. Oh no, no oh I see. Oh no, I, I just remembered, yeah. Dang it. Uh, evade boost the order raises one's ally evasion, okay. Okay. So that's enough for the training. You've proven you have what it takes. Come now. <laughs> Try taking those lessons to the battlefield, and come back when you're ready. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, Colin. Ah yes. Let me tell you about <laughs> potentials good. and orders. When combat classes rise in level, sometimes the soldiers show new potentials, or you might gain access to new orders. You could say potentials show your soldiers' traits and tendencies, or at least how they manifest in battle. Orders are commands that you alone can issue in combat, either to individual soldiers or your squad as a whole. Okay, that I know. Nothing about orders. Actually, maybe you'd learn better through practice. Yeah, I know this. I know this. Order learn defense. Use your orders boost. judiciously, and you can tip the scales. Watch the flow of battle and command with discretion. Okay. That's all from me. I expect nothing but the best out of you and Squad E. Yeah, they, they 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 just took this out from like the original game. Um, so an R and D facility. Whoa, Claude! Look at all these weapon parts. Oh my Perks God! Perks of working in a Federation forward operating base, huh? We can develop new weapons here. Just, just just calm down, Miles. Just calm down. It's just a bunch of like steel. Okay. If there's anything you ever want to upgrade, just give me a holler. Tank armaments, infantry weapons, anything. We'll build all kinds of new weapons and make our team even stronger. Yeah. Don't tell Miles to calm down. <laughs> Research and develop armaments for infantry and tank by spending DCT. Don't, 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 I do not know what that acronym stands for. He's our cute little fanboy tanker. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. Miles out here trying to be a one man army already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently. Now develop a Okay, tutorial equipment. Develop equipment to forge new weapons and armor for infantry units. Rifles, machine guns, grenades, and other weapons are mass produced, so once it's developed, all units can then equip it. Upgrades like firepower, accuracy, boosts will automatically be applied to soldiers equipping those weapons. Uh, are you a fanboy can drive a tank? So said, <laughs> apparently in this army, as long as you are a fanboy, then you are allowed to drive a Sherman. If not, be nice to my ass. <laughs> it's the only... God damn it. Alright, so this is the Lenfield M1. So we're gonna go give it the standard boost, or... I don't know what this is. Alright, we need the D plus aim. Let's go develop this. Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. So that gun, okay, well... Is there anything wrong with this gun? Oh. It's M2 now? Yeah, it's an M2. Oh, also, hey, welcome, Ferret! Oh, thank you for the raid! Oh god, everyone's here. Um, 
get <laughs> Oh god, welcome, welcome, welcome! Oh, oh thank you for the follow, Chain Smoking War. Uh, oh, oh god! There... Okay, you know what? Let me um do a quick shout out. No. Uh to fair No, it's 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 this. It's it's like this. <laughs> oh thank you for the follow, Willow! Hey! You chain smokes in place more right everything. Well, we'll try to like smoke. Well, I, I don't want to like dictate, you know, how you live your life, but you know, just, just. <laughs> but you, you, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know what's going on. But um, well, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah. Um, I assume this is like um, princess is doing. Um, if so, thank you, princess, for like you know directing. Um, Barrett here. Um. Uh, and uh, I'm like seventh. And... Can't smoke more. I want to. <laughs> well, that's one way. One, that's one way to um, to uh, get into like real estate, right? Uh, get into the housing market. Um. Just my... Oh, it was your doing. Okay, sorry. Uh, well, thank you, Ferret. Thank you, Ferret, for entrusting your community um, to me. I hope, like, you know, like I can, like. <laughs> Uh, maintain your interest here. Um, uh, it's not. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's fair. It's fair. It, you know, thank you, fair. Thank you, but, but, um, but yeah. But it, yeah. But princess introduced. So that's why, like, I, I had my initial thought that it was princess. So, um, just being a meter. <laughs> I, I. I let, let, me, let me like have a little sip of water here. Oh god. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um. Hate crime. <laughs> what did I say? That those that was hate crimeish. Um. Uh, <laughs> they. If they complain, just withhold food. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. I even have. Oh god, I, I really should like um, prepare food next time. Yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Um, Stuart being me, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, I'm I'm just being affectionate, me. That's all. Um, Stuart, get me that. <laughs> ow, ow. See, I probably deserve that. Um, just do such a snack. Oh god. Yeah. yeah it was so yeah, Colin likes to tease. So, but oh uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are like um yeah. So um, did you guys had fun um uh, with Overwatch? You know, like it's a great game. Um, I played that a long time ago, to be honest. The original Overwatch, that is. So I haven't. I, I mean, I played Overwatch too, but not much recently. So oh, just Overwatch. Not, not two. Okay. Ow. You want uh, rain? I don't have food right now. I'll prepare next time. I'll prepare. I have a submarine sandwich. Not underwater. Be. Re uh, realist. Oh, Overwatch two. Oh, you don't have fun. We. Oh, you don't have fun. You played Overwatch two. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Also, I I, I did notice um that redeem um Colin um don't worry I will get to that um. Did you did you guys throw? I was just way too much happening going so much things happening um I didn't even like register like what was what was thrown at me um. <laughs> uh, no, so yeah um uh, so basically Colin redeemed um. Life advice. Um, so, I would say, um, uh, I'm not sure if like if there are people out here who um, enjoy rice, but if you are, if you are going to cook rice uh, in a pot as opposed to like in a, with a rice cooker. Um, Buts. Make sure. Thank you for the TTS. Um. Uh. Barrett. Um. 
make sure uh and if you're if you're forced to like use like oil or butter to cook the rice uh, don't leave it out there More uh, <laughs> thank you parrot um just don't, don't just don't don't, don't, just don't play leave. bots yuck Oh gosh, I heard. Oh, sorry. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. I have to go to work, but enjoy having your name tag and hat. Oh, I will. I will. I will. I will. Oh, you can have life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving out life advice whenever someone redeems that. Yeah. Uh, I can still celebrate it. Yeah, I can still celebrate it. Yeah. I'm just reading chat. So, um, um. Yeah, but so going back to like um, Colin's uh, advice for deep. Yeah, um, the reason for that, the reason what that you'd want to like, like, stay and watch while your rice like cooks, if you had butter and oil in it, is because like there will be like an under layer that will literally like roast, that will burn. You're a mean one, Mr. So, Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel. Oh, Mr. yeah, I agree. Grinch. Thank you for the hydrate. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. You're a monster, Mr. G. There we go. We, 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 we got to the limit. <laughs> also, yeah, um, to all um, the new, like, viewers, uh, uh, happy American Thanksgiving. Um, yeah. Um... I also have to like inform you guys sadly that I am Canadian so I don't know what 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 happens in American Thanksgiving so but I do, I do respect traditions and culture so yeah um butter and oil boy yes heard <laughs> you twice what did he redeem it twice hang on he did redeem it twice, so now I have two pieces of advice I have to like. Okay, um. Right, well, Mr. Sh I have many daunting life questions. What? Wait a minute. All that? <laughs> it's okay, so we can just get married and can experience American Thanksgiving. <laughs> um. I don't know. Is it, is it, I think it is. I think it, it has been legalized over there in the States. Um. But I need, I need, I need to like get through like the life advices. Hang on. Um. Uh. Okay, I get, this is not really like this is not really like um profound life advice per se, but um uh if you happen to like um say lose your credit card, for example, uh make sure you always have no 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 prior to like wait, wait, sorry whenever you're signing up for a credit card i guess um always like download the app that comes with the card you'll want that the reason for that is because just in case like, you lost you you lose your plastic card you'll want that option to lock the card if ever you lose the plastic card um apps um credit card Apps that like go along with those credit cards do tend to have that lock feature. So, yeah. Uh, I thought American was Thanksgiving, which is Ghostbusters featuring Bill Murray and. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Oh god, I, I didn't notice. Like, oh, I forgot about the ads. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh no. Oh, you can see that. Okay, cool. Um, I got the gist. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I'm struggling with normal person energy. Yeah. Um, can give us more life advice. Unethical life advice. When you're applying, double your salary. It will affect nothing. You don't actually care, but they'll start you out with a slightly higher limit. That's true, Colin. By the way. Uh, they're done for you now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, no, that's that was the that was my first advice. Like. When signing up for credit cards, get the get the mobile app. I'm pretty sure the last thing I was quoted on was stuff, stuff like a turkey. Don't. 
You see, you see, I, 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 I can't like get on that level. Like, I, don't, I, I, I'm way too say so for that. Stuff me like a turkey. Don't uh, hold back, BB. I, I demand one. Okay, okay, okay. Fair, fair. Demanding more life advice. That, what, that, that life advice. Okay. Um. Um. This is not necessarily like again. This is not necessarily like. Um, oh, actually, you know, you know what? You know what? This is good advice. Um, I'm not sure if like people are like familiar with this, but um, I learned this f uh, from my hairdresser or my barber, I guess, if you will. Um, uh, do not, do not buy. Do not get those shampoo and conditioner combos. You know, you know those like those like sh those like shampoo conditioner combinations right like it's just one bottle but with a shampoo and a con with shampoo and conditioner in it like um i was told by my barber those don't work yeah the shampoo conditioner body wash yeah don't don't, don't get those get actual separate shampoos and conditioner bottles um those work better in for your hair Uh, sorry, I, I, I let, let, let go in chat. Um, I, I was, I was flexing my lurker points. You can't ignore it. <laughs> Are you prepared? Well, I appreciate the lurks, Ferret. Um, you are my favorite person in chat now. <laughs> oh yeah, Fer Ferret. Ferret is like um a very very like high energy, very very like I, I only, can only like just sniff the air. He, he's he's on to be honest. It is a wholesome stream. I'm trying to keep it that way, um, princess. I, I I gave you like the the two life advices for it already. This is very quick to I'm 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 but I'm, I'm quick to get back to wholesomeness. I think that's basic knowledge, but yeah, the head and shoulders. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so yeah, like don't 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 entertain like the um the shampoo conditioner mix. Are those if they make my head explode? He's like this unstreamed. <laughs> yeah, 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 he is, he is. Uh, that's how it goes. Seven TV emote. But boys, don't use this combo washes. They are terrible for you. Yeah, 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 don't use a combo wash. No, 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 no. Okay, I think I think I I think I've covered everyone's. Um. Okay, that alert. All right, Bert. All right. Well, again, like thank you guys for like um you know um coming over i totally appreciate everyone like you know just uh i mean words words gone brain no go no 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 english no um as a side note i am marketing rep for combo <laughs> really okay i i i did not oh, no, i did not know. for home defense since that's what the founding fathers intended four ruffians break into my house what oh, no, you're not? Okay. As I grab my powdered wig and Kentucky rifle, blow a golf ball size. <laughs> okay, that's the limit. That's the limit. That's the limit of my TTS. Um, but yeah, no. Um, D. No, I don't want. I don't want a D. Um, I want a D plus. Not sexual, not sexual. Um, uh, Ali, let's, uh, no, because I got the aim here for D. Um, I need to be better. To, I need to. I need to go beyond D, like D plus or a C. No, I don't want a D. Uh, um, <laughs> I think I get I get the whole copy. There's a reason there's like a TTS limit, so... Alright, no upgrades for this. That's already a C, mortars. Alright, no upgrades. Cane grenades. Okay, we got this, the potato masher here. Standard suit. Alright, let's upgrade this. All done, Claude. I'll give you, you beyond a D. You all right? <laughs> no, no, no. We, we, got, we gotta keep it say so. We gotta keep it say so. 
Uh, heavy armor. Okay. Let's upgrade this. Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. Uh, okay, so that upgrades like the shock trooper armor. Uh, blast suits. Okay, blast suit 82 upgrade. Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. Have you tried impossible whoppers? Is that the is that a BK food item? Uh, okay, that. Develop tank parts. Oh god. Tutorial tank parts. Develop tank parts to enhance your vehicles and create optional parts. Weapon and body enhancements focus on cannon and armor strength. All enhancements stack. Treads and other and attack support allow you to develop new optional tank parts. Optional parts take effect once equipped on the vehicle, so outfit your tank to fit the situation. Yeah, I was will. It doesn't have any lines. It's plant -based. It's BK's plant-based burger. Ah! Okay. I never had one of those, those ve those veg vegan burgers. But they people keep telling me like um they don't really taste any different compared to normal burgers. Yeah. Yeah, they just cook that in the grease of normal so that's probably Oh. But I prefer the regular Whopper. Less of the burn taste. But that but then again, some people like the burn taste though, Colin. I'm not saying I do. I'm just saying like I, I know people like who do like the burnt taste. Uh, nope. Tax support. Site upgrade? Hell yeah, we want site upgrade. Whoa, it turned out great! Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. Yeah, it, BK, BK's veggies aren't bad. Oh, yeah. No, 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 I'm not. I, 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 I believe you. I believe you. Yeah. People keep telling me, like, uh, like they don't really taste any different. Yeah, some people are wrong. <laughs> People have to have incorrect opinions. I, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm just. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like you know. Um. Okay. Equip this. All right. That equips the bulletproof visor. Yeah. Um. Next is the treads. Okay. There's nothing to upgrade there. Install tank parts. Uh. Change camo. Okay. Learner's permit. All right. Oh wait, no, 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 no! I want the accuracy. Screwedly, because it apparently it has stat bonuses. These decals. Jesus. So favorite candy bar, bar, not chocolate bar. Favorite candy bar. That's actually a very difficult question, um, Colin, because um, I, I. When, I'm not really. I don't really have a sweet tooth per se, and if I, and if I'm, if I am hankering for some something sweet, I generally like default to chocolates. So yeah, I don't. I, 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 I you caught me in a, in a an awkward place here. Uh. Okay, so that's. I think that's everything. Kind of exciting, isn't it? Once we're ready, let's yeah, yeah, yeah. make something I, I, here into the Empire. I don't I don't know why, like, I never like taste having like anything that doesn't have any chocolate in it. That's sweet. I I, I to be honest, I've never met anyone that's kinda like me in that fashion, yeah. I'm very fond of the humble payday bar. Oh, I don't think we have that here. Um, I have heard of like pay the payday bar, yeah. Caramel peanuts coating it. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good actually. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's go to command room. So this is the command center. I guess our deployment's going to change depending on the demands of the mission. I'll need the right balance of combat specialties. I should go over the pros and cons of every one. I know already. I, I know this already, Claude. First things first. I'll look over the squad as a whole. Okay, the command room. Enter the command room to switch active squad mates and change your equipment. 
When you want to try out the new unit, select squad setup to access them. Optimize your squad by managing their combat classes and the squaddies. <laughs> I didn't know that was even an actual word. Um, each soldier likes. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not sure if like you guys were here when I was like explaining this, but um, you can actually like kind of like ref um look into like the. Why is six afraid of seven? Six hasn't been the same since he left Vietnam. He can seldom close his eyes without opening them again at fear of Charlie's lurking in the jungle trees. Not that you coo. Goddamn Charles. I should actually I actually play like um um uh, a game that's set in the Vietnam War era quite regularly. Not, not that you coo. <laughs> Yeah, 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 the TTS. I mean, like I had that like TTS without limit uh, at first, like the character limit. Bad idea. So now I have it in a very acceptable limit. Uh, all right, let, let's take everyone out. Um, so let's. Uh, Unfortunate. Okay, so Rising Storm Vietnam. Yes, I see you played it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's uh, it's. I don't know. I guess I'm more of a. So compared to Overwatch, or at least Hunt. Yeah. Um. Rising Storm. Um, it's kind of, it's more, it's less forgiving, in terms of like being in a bad position and you having bad aim. Let's put it that way. I played the Aegis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, let's do play at some point. Hold on. Okay, so, um, basically, like, the whole pref soldier's preferences thing that was, like, uh, brought up in that battle. So, this, this, this is it. So, basically, like, you can kind of, like, it, 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 like, I guess, like, they change, so... Previously, he did have the competitive spirit, and now he does. So, yeah. Um, or my, he may have, Raz probably ch like like a, a person, but now he doesn't. So, yeah. So that's what I was talking about. Want, oh, want to play? Yeah. At some point, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like we can go, we can go play. We can go play. Um, yeah. Like it's. It's a game that I usually, like, go to whenever I want, like, just, like, chill, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of hard to find other players, to be honest. But yeah, so that's that's how the uh, the preferences work. So, um, now I have to look for characters that go along with these guys. So I'm always going to have Zyga, right? Uh, I'll give it a shot. Um, Kai... Riley and Raz. Okay. So you can see I'm 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 just operating on the likes, right? Um. I think I didn't bring Kurt. No. Did I? No, no. Hang on. Um. Uh, Rebecca. Understood. No, no. I already had Rebecca. All are gonna be tanks. Oh, let's put in Connor. I'm trying to create your own sacred band of thieves, just a squad of lovers. <laughs> you can actually, you can. But the thing is, like, um, you're kind of like forced to like work with like their uh, preferences. So yeah, for example, like for Connor here, um, yeah. Uh, let's go check out. So immersion writing. When his HP falls below half, he feels the thrill of creative perspective. Okay, he's not a very logical person. Um, so for the sake of how war experience, and he's he's not really doing really well with the book sales. Um, uh, worse than Winter's block is criticism. His AP falls below half. His defense decreases. Yeah. So you, so this, big goals. Hey, yeah, I don't know. Maybe like, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. 
I don't judge what what my soldiers do in their free time. So, but yeah, um, so Jester and Teresa. I can write about this. Yes, you can. Oh wait, I. Nage. So Jester and Teresa. So we'll put in Jester. Right. Or you know what, Teresa? Let's put in Teresa. Moving out. So we have, so we have to or no, 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 no! I'm not gonna sponsor anything. Aladdin. <laughs> really? Why is the bald guy? I don't know. I I didn't name these guys. The, uh, like, I mean, with like with, with my naming sense, I could probably, I could probably, I might have, I could probably do name these guys as like such. But no, I, I these, I came in. And these guys, and these were the names like these guys have. So, um, I know it's a, I, I barely this country like you know, it's okay to name your kid, you know, a lad. Um, wait, hang on. So, the so Teresa is already there. Raz, Zyga, Scott. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, "It's better than yours." Damn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you. But I have to, have charge. to charge my milkshake brings all the boys to TH. <laughs> the TH. Yep, uh, that's where it cut off. Okay, so let's go get Ryan. He likes Kegel, so... Oh wait, I forgot to put in like a... Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I guess like Kegel's there. And Ryan. Okay, Kegel likes Jimmy. We'll get Jimmy in next. Um, uh, uh, I guess we'll go get Jimmy then. Get through this alive. Allard, I Rebecca, see. Kai. Let's go bring Nage this time. I, I'll do my best. Ryan likes Kegel. <laughs> no, I, I know what you're talking about here. Um, Jimmy's kind of cute. Just basing it off on like uh, their looks, which I guess like normal. Um, so Teresa, um, uh, I don't know. Maybe let's go put in Brit. No, no, Millennia. And then we'll get another shock. It's like 60% of the anime game. Yeah, to be honest, yeah. My squad has to be all handsome and beautiful people, right? If you are fielding an army, if you are fielding a, a fighting unit, you can't have not non-beautiful people. <laughs> Nico appears to be a child, just like their commander. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> um, so, who's the um? So, get Scott. Florette. Um, I guess we can go get. Who's G? Oh, that's G. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's let's just go with like um, let's go with like viola. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then let's go get Jean. Hey. And then who else? Who else we can bring here? Oh. Those were two separate messages. Like the commander was in reference to only beautiful. I mean, it, it helps. It helps with the battlefield cohesion, right? Beautiful people. Uh. Uh, Teresa Connor. Uh. Yeah, I never really used Jester. Okay, let's go with Jester. And, um, 
Who was the other guy? Gene. Um. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then... Millennia. Who the hell is Curtis? Oh, that's Curtis. Um, did I put in Millennia already? Oh, there is Millennia. Brittany, okay. I know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of slots. Um... So... I don't know, should I use Laura? Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's get Curtis oh. in here. And... Um... Uh, Scott? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and Lauren? I'll show him. And who else we can bring in? Uh, Rosetta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything you need. And Florette. Understood. Oh, God, she's French. Ugh. This might be legit. The little town's giving orders here, considering how. Right, 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 right. I have a lot of people. A lot of people. So equipment. I don't. Okay. Curtis. All right, all right, all right. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool here. Next command room. That should do it for now. Preparation's a vital part of any battle. I get the feeling I'll be spending a lot of time in here. Yes. So yeah. So it's a. It's. Platoon. Yeah. I think. I think. Yeah. I think I'm commanding a platoon. There's just so just a lot of people. Um, so, return to book mode. Okay, cool, return to book mode. So yeah, so this game is pretty cerebral. There's like a lot to like take in. Extra stories, what the hell? Some episodes are unlocked after installing downloadable content. Oh yeah, I actually, I, I, this game. Uh, when I got this game, like it had all the DLC in it. So, um. R&D facility has been added. Tutorial headquarters. Training in R&D requires experience and these. I don't know what that acronym stands for. And weapon development. Visit HQ after gaining experience in combat. And prepare for upcoming battles. Access headquarters from the book menu, a book mode tab, or press escape feature menu. Okay. Oh, skirmishes. Okay. Tutorial skirmishes. Skirmishes are battles that can be waged at any time for experience and. Okay, I, I, this one I'm, I'm familiar with, yeah. New maps appear as you progress in the story, so use skir skirmishes to train when mean battles become too tough. Yeah. Access skirmishes from the book mode tab or press escape to reach the menu. Yeah, we're gonna we're we're in for the long haul here, chat. Squad mates killed in action become unavailable in the main story. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do not let your do not let your dudes die. If they die, they're gone forever. New extra story has been added? What? Mess hall. Whoa! Whoa! There's a lot. Um, mess hall, private quarters. Skirmish. Personnel. I'll, whoa! 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 A lot, that's a lot. Um, I got the deal. Yeah! Yeah! We're gonna go through all the DLCs. We're gonna go through the DLCs. They die in the lane. You die. Yes! Yes! You. That's why, like, it's. It's kind of important not to um, get killed. Um, we're at headquarters. There's a mess hall. This wasn't. Let's go with the. Let's go with the private quarters first. This wasn't in the first game. Visitor private quarters to view information about the game, which will increase in volume as a progress. Okay, that's, that's a lot of like stuff. Um. Oh yeah, you can actually like see like the personnel. Karen Stewart, me. Edinburgh Army Corporal, age seventeen, squad E medic. Eldest girl of a large family. She planned on medical school, but enlisted to support her household. Oh yeah, that's the uh, the rag knight thing that they're holding. This is cool. Um, I got Curtis Blackwell. <laughs> the dog's name is Ragnarok. 
uh, their outfits. Oh, wait, their outfits? Oh, apparently they are! Uh, there's no... Uh... Nope. Uh, I guess for Karen, she doesn't have an outfit. Uh, Ragnarok's the dog's name. I don't have a separate outfit for Ragnarok. H10s. Wait, what's that in dog years? Oh no, but that, but that, I guess it's probably in dog years. Um, squad E rescue dog. Male helps in rescuing wounded soldiers. He used to be a stray, but extremely intelligent, exceptionally and brave. There you go. I actually do not. <laughs> Fortunately, call it. I don't have a zoom camera. Okay. Jester, Mooney, Rosetta. Okay, I guess these are the only people I have right now. Kai Shulin. Uh, uh, yeah, so this is like the sniper. The security and birthdays. Yeah. Let's, just, let's go with that. Let's go with that call. You know what the plate tomorrow, Princess? Like, what was that game we talked about? Um,. That I think is like a good game to play. I forgot. The next. Okay, everyone's here. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna read everyone's like. Uh, oh, the weaponry. All right. We got the Lenfield, Colin, a striker. If you're still here, we got the Lenfield. Does it look like the Lee Enfield to you guys? It looks. It looks more like a Grand. Or no, an M14. Look, look at that bolt. Look at that bolt. <laughs> like a real gun. Does Claude's Encyclopedia say what's, what's her name? Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Let's, let's go check that out. Uh, personnel. Is that Riley? Edinburgh Army 2nd Lieutenant, age 21, from the city of Hafen, Gallia. Oh, they named the tank after their town. She seems to share some painful history with Claude. Yeah, apparently, yeah. There's some history. 1st Lieutenant. Oh, he's 1st Lieutenant. Um, age 22, Commander Squad E, from the city of Hafen. He wants to change climate and weather. Okay. Um... Yeah, I know different outfit. It has the stock of a Mosin Nagant, a receiver that's highly reminiscent of a M Garant in the front. M yeah, that's what I'm saying. It looks like an M14. Right? It's the the front looks like an M14. <laughs> and we got the, um, what was that? The Thompson and the Grease Gun? Like, I this does look like a Thompson. Especially, like, the front part here. Technically, an M14 is just a pimp of Grand. Grand. Yeah! And this is the, um... The anti-tank weapon. Um... Which has no real-world equivalent. This is the, um, the sniper rifle. Um... I don't know what this gun looks... Blend of a... It's just... <laughs> yeah, we're talking about the uh, the, uh, the anti-tank um, gun, and uh, I guess you're talking the, when the, when you when you say the Thompson MP40, you're talking about the uh, shock trooper weapon, the Robinson, and we have the uh, the military mortar, the Sanders. Okay, we got the potato masher here. Um, King grenade? What? Oh, there's different hand grenades. Okay. The Sherman, right? <laughs> Stock of a Mosin, the back receiver of a Garand, and the front end of an SKS. And then <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Confederate tank. Yeah, it's Sherman. And then we have the enemy tank, which is, I don't know. I don't know what this tank is derived from. It looks like an M3 Lee. Or did I say, did I put the designation wrong there? It's a Lee, right? But anyway, yeah, it's, a, it's just, um... Do I see a Lee? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the...
don't try to figure out like What's there's anything the matter, Claude? If I didn't know any better, I think if, if, if they're being like trying to be faithful to the source material here. I'm glad that we won, obviously, but when I see my comrades in arms lying wounded out there. We're not in boot camp anymore. This is war. If that's all it takes to get you down, it's a lead, but if the secondary turrets actually turn. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think the secondary turret's just like a. 37 mil or something. I know that, alright? That, that means fixed blood. thing. War means death. Ah, okay. Still, that doesn't make it any less painful to leave behind a comrade you know you could have saved. Talking I'm not about. disagreeing with you, but tending to the wounded is the Elevation medic's decibel. responsibility, oh. not ours. Sure, except when they're too far away to make it in time. Sometimes you can run as fast as you can to get help and still get there too late. Hmm. Can't argue with that. If only we could relay the urgency of the situation to HQ. Perhaps like this? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? The hull gun sand fight. Oh, it's a... Oh, wait, I guess it's a, it's a bigger gun than I... than I anticipated. Than I first, like, figured... You know, figured. Okay. Talk to your squad mates to mess hall to learn. Oh, okay. Oh, I should do this then. I this wasn't an original game. This wasn't in the first game. Learning a new order requires XP with a grand edge in combat. Medic request cost five thousand. Oh wait, no, this was in the first game, but it was the cemetery. No, I don't have XP. Screw that. I thought we were on the cusp of a pretty good order. Well, let me know if you change your mind. Yeah, this wasn't the first game. All right, let me go back to the mess hall. Still interested in that order we were drafting? So you, you can't just blame everything that you're bad on. It wasn't. It just watch me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It's it's basically the we first were on game. The cusp of a pretty good order. No, I'm not gonna. Not gonna. Yeah, no. Um. Uh, I think that's everyone. Okay, return to book mode. Uh, what's the extra stories? Extra story. United Front with Squad Seven. Yo, it's Squad Seven. She sounds so depressed about not having enough XP to learn to order. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I, I did not have the XP. No, but Squad Seven is like the uh. Is the military unit uh, you control in the original Valkyria Chronicles? <gasps> um, it's this. Get some of XP. God dang it. July, nineteen thirty-five. After leaving the city of Rain, we began our march north for the Imperial capital. At least that was the plan. Oh, wait. Midway through, we received a report that the bridge we intended to cross had been destroyed by Imperials. Oh, oh, this wasn't chronologically like. No choice but to remain on okay, standby. okay. All we could do was wait for them to repair the bridge. That's basically what the dating is, right? Putting on an XP and share? As we waited, an unexpected order came in. Funny enough, yeah. The command yeah. wanted us back in Galia. Yes, it's, it's based off of like, um. Wow. Again, Galia real life events. Up. Just like we remember it, and all it took was a day on a rickety ass train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, didn't really, they didn't really like veer off that far from the source material. Something about the sunlight here and the breeze feels like we're home again. Look at that, the lion's paws are already coming in. Oh, god, but this isn't the peaceful Galia we knew. Now it's a battlefield, same as back on the front lines. Pardon me, Lieutenant Claude Wallace, I presume. Too er it's pretty early for the continent to be at war. But maybe like it's like, you know, like the interregnum period, you know, you know there were there were wars before the Second World War. Yeah, I'm aware, like, but I think there was the Polish Soviet War, you're right? Like 
Something yes, like that. sir. John Townshend, ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Okay, we got, we got Mr. L Mutton Chops here. I appreciate your coming all this way. I can't imagine it was a very relaxing trip from the front lines. It was no problem, sir. Galia is our homeland. Even a day's visit is a welcome luxury. But what exactly is our mission here? All we heard was that we'd have further instructions on arrival. Getting over it is on sale? Oh no, princess, please don't. No. Do not. Um... Uh, subject yourself to that. <laughs> ah, yes. My apologies. Your mission here will be to participate in a joint training. No, exercise. even if it even if it is on sale, your your um your sanity is more um uh, is is more has more worth than this. Huh? Wait, that's it? So that's the only reason we were called here. Yeah, don't do don't, don't, don't do it, Princess. Lieutenant. Given the circumstances, that's a reasonable reaction. Ordinarily, a joint exercise? the Federation wouldn't call an elite squad away from the front lines for something so uh, trivial. No, that's. I mean, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Keep it quiet for now, but. 1930. We're currently finalizing an alliance between Galia and the Federation. Oh, for people who know, people who have played the first game, um, this guy like does some, does something. Um, I know, I know exactly what they're doing here. Um, 1935 was pretty chill in Europe, to be honest. Italy and France had a Wida. and it Italo and the look. I I, I, I guess I guess they just want to like shift neutrality has always been Galia's policy um would they really the uh, backing the setting for this game at least yeah basically I'll start to Mr mustache <laughs> Mr mustache yeah this not the, not this Mr mustache uh the Empire seized a great deal of Gallian territory Her policy means nothing without a nation to uphold it. But with Operation Northern Cross underway, we don't have the soldiers to spare for Galia. Tricky, yes. Both tactically and from a foreign policy standpoint. But Galia is a vital player in this conflict. Oh, really? You, you... As such, it is important well... that we show our support. Resupplying efforts, raising morale in their troops. Um... Sega... Pulled out all stops on getting voice actors for their games here. Um, the first game, um, I don't, I can't, I can't remember his name, but uh, they had like everyone, Yuri Lowenthal, um, what other guy? But yeah, it's it's you know like the guys who would find like dubbing um, animes. Also, um, Galia friend. No, um. Okay, I, I'm gonna basically like when I when I when I if, whenever I'm, I'm streaming this game, um, I will make constant references to the first game, uh, because the first game involves Galia, and Galia is basically anime Belgium. Um, so yeah, um, uh, you you will see why when you see their dress. So. Is this the intent of the training exercise? Yes, it's anime Belgium. Golly, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> there are quite a few Galian country men in squad E, if I recall. I turned to a basic and started to start. <laughs> oh, Ferret, hey, welcome back. I had to little bit narrow it down. I mean, Mr. Mustache? I mean, come on. Are there any other people out there? That has the same profile as Mr. Mustache, right? They are very French. Yeah. The Belgians are very French. I have a sandwich. Oh well, great. Very nice. <laughs> gotta get gotta 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 get that You know. Gotta get that strength up, you know? You've been streaming quite a while probably, so yeah. 
Mussolini, the French guy, Chamberlain. I don't. I didn't. I, I don't know. Did Mussolini have a mustache? I know he's clean shaven. Stalin, yes, he does have a mustache. So. Some of them are. Uh, Joma. They all had mustaches. There were men in the 90s. Yeah, of course they were. They were. He was, he was very bald. Yeah, that that he was very bald and he was very clean shaven. He did my. <laughs> oh God, Paris. Primarily made up of civilians. A visit from national. Heroes could give them quite a boost. M muscle man shaved after getting arrested for being a pacifist in World War Oh, okay. Oh yeah, oh, so to people who are unaware, um I don't know, I guess like no, I think I know I know I know this part about you, Colin. That you were very, very big in history, yeah. You used to have some serious twink humbo himbo energy. I have seen pictures of him as a young man. Yeah, he did. He is actually very good looking. Yeah. Me and Reg. <laughs> very, very big in history. <laughs> I mean, did I say anything wrong? <laughs> okay, I was underselling um, your um, expertise a bit there. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I truly apologize. I. Uh, I did not mean, I did not mean to, like, uh, do that. Okay, okay, I was like, I am bad at words. I'm bad at words. I only have a bachelor's? I don't know the world. I mean, like, bachelor's is good. It's not, like, you know, bad. Good, sir. We'll do everything we can if it'll help protect I'm our homeland. No, no, no. Oh, 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 you're talking about that bachelor. Okay, cool. Okay. Not bad either. Not bad either. It's not like it's like, you know, being single is bad. Okay. Single is good. Single to get. I did get. You know, I. Brain bad. Brain slow. Sorry. Um, it can be good for. <laughs> it was both a joke and not a joke. <laughs> Uh, I do have a BA in history. Oh, there we go. A lot of history buffs today. So you might enjoy this game. Um, lots of history behind this. Well said, Lieutenant Wallace. Your Gallian partners in this exercise have made quite a name for themselves. Yeah, I'm having trouble finding the BA for this guy in Valkyria Chronicles 4. Okay, okay. But if you have heard of his voice, yeah, he must be pretty, like, out there. Yeah, we're history buffs. The standouts of the Gallian Militia's 3rd Regiment, Squad 7. Ah. Okay, I'm not gonna advance the story here, because apparently, like, this was, like, after Reine. So let's go back to the episodes. Yeah, we're still not. See, so yeah, I want I want to be chronologically correct here. So, and there's there are skirmishes that you can play. Um, I might have to play that first before I go to the. But you know what? Let's go to the episode here and let's just get to like. Eh, you know what? I think the better experience will be to actually like go through skirmish first. So, of history. I don't know what BDE stands for. In BC one, Steve Blum. In BC, yeah, Steve Blum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Blum was in Valkyrie Chronicles one. Oh yes, Fred Tetas. I can't pronounce his last name. I will not. I will not attempt to pronounce his last name. But yes, that was that was him. Did, okay, I don't. I, 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 I. Sweet, sweet, innocent anime boy. Yes, that's me. But yeah, no. I, I think, I think I will probably like have to like, um, save it here. Um, uh, because it, it. This game is. I, I'm starting to realize this game is pretty big. Uh, pretty like deep, heavy stuff. Um. 
What do I mean say? Oh, BDE. That that's that's what BDE stands for. Okay, I'm not gonna say so VTuber. Say so VTuber. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, I will. Hang on. Um. I'm gonna go look. BD energy. No, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna look for like um someone to raid. Um. Okay. Um. Stu clearly doesn't have big dick energy, given he didn't know what it meant. XD. I didn't. I I don't go around like looking for acronyms of things. Okay, that's my de that's my defense. Um, but yeah, no, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, like, you know what? Let's go, let's go raid Severin, Sevi. I think he's playing Minecraft right now, so, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be mean, lo mean a lot to me, like, if you, like, you know, stay, you know, and they'll just say hi to, like, Sevi. Great guy, great guy. And, uh, yeah, I will, I will, like, continue with this game. Um, he ain't no. He ain't no young whistle <laughs> It's okay. We still love you, even if you're not for Like, god dang it, I'm, I'm, I'm being bullied. This is bullying. This is bullying. Um, uh, but yeah, um, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go like stream this game. Um, yeah, again like in the future. Yeah, I, I want, I want to, I want to complete this. I want to finish this game. Um, but for now, we'll just go right over to like Sevi. Um, I'll be. So yeah, he's like I think streaming Minecraft right now. Uh, for the record, for three that's only four pounds. So proportionally hung like. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, but yeah, no. Um, again, thank you guys for like um watching. Thank you guys for like uh being here. But yeah, no, uh, we'll be raiding over Sevi, great guy, and uh yeah, I'll see you in the next stream hopefully um on Saturday. So Saturday I'll be playing the Sopranos. Um, so if you guys want to watch me, like, um, uh, hang out with Tone, Silvio, and Christopher, and Polly, go catch that, go catch that, um, catch that stream. Alright, guys, thank you, uh, we are unbelievable, we <laughs> love you, we love love towards you, I, I see that, I see that, I see that, I see that. But anyway, I will be, that's, this is me, thank you guys, I'll see you in the next one.